Okay. Well, who wants to give me the recap? Uh, Man. Void. Void, go for it. Ariel has some on it. Captain? Hey, go ahead, Void. <laughs> it, it <laughs> All right. I mean, Frank, so, last time we got to deal with the warehouse, we found a bunch of possible drug users. Mm -hmm. We were trying to figure out whether or not we could help said drug users, but then tables decided to turn. They all became slowly but surely absorbed into what is known as the melted one, which essentially is a living red blanket, which we all should fear. Um, after a couple close calls, unfortunately, uh, Yagul got to f experience what it was like to be actually degloved. And Mikhail got a lashing that he will never forget. Thankfully, the two were able to escape after the monster decided to scare the tar out of the rest of us. Mm -hmm. With uh, some careful planning and separation, we were able to coordinate to get the big guns over there to try to find the living blanket from hell. Unfortunately, the blanket from hell has escaped. We were able to go back safely. From there, we were able to also try to figure out what we were going to do with our requisitions and how to proceed from there after updating, what was his name? Lantern Bridge, Proctor Lantern Bridge. Mm -hmm. So after that, let's see. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mikhail gave the debriefing and forgot my name, but enough of that. For which um, he will never be forgiven. For which he will never be forgiven by everyone else. So after that, we were trying to kind of see what to do with the downtime and figure out what to do while the goal is patching up, because by the grace of Metheria, he was able to get his arm back in some fa uh, mm -hmm. in some fashion. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, I think that's everything. And you're everything. gearing up to. Go find that asshole who lied to us and to distribute the Ramunda to figure out who is buying the drugs and to uncover a nefarious plot. We'll okay. focus on the drugs and plot first and then maybe yes. we'll revenge we'll that. Focus on the drugs, shall we? So be it. All right. Well, in that case, we will pick back up where we left off, which was the party was, I believe, we were finishing up your re equipping. Yagul had his arm healed up. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get from there. Where's my... There it is. Nice. Did I have to start making a TLDR? Sorry for rambling. There was no ramble. No, it was perfect. It, it was really good. <laughs> you did what you were supposed you're to. You're a natural at this, Captain. Outside of exposing me to everyone, but it was good. That's fine. <laughs> you can put, no, no. put that man on blast. Uh, put me on blast. <laughs> I typically, I put the rest of them on blast because I specifically said that Ariel's not going to hold it against your ass. She's just going to chalk it up to adrenaline and foolishness. All righty. So, so I got my ass handed to me by Red Blake, and I'd be scared too. All right, you guys Sorry. have re equipped, resupplied. And are now ready to continue on with the plan. The plan specifically is that you were to work with the quartermaster and to see who buys up all of this um, this particular product, this Ramunda, and in the hopes that by doing so, you're able to find out who perhaps the original purchaser or at least the person involved with the arrangement of said ingredients and cargo might be, as it's the only lead that you really have right now as to whom the individual that you ended up having to kill was speaking of. So. Uh, what, what properties are we getting with our weapons? Oh, right. Man armor. <laughs> yeah. We, we They're kinda... pretty excited yeah. for it. Oh, right. Hold on. Pull out the tables. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. Get the mm -hmm. Metharian properties. Mm -hmm. Yes. And listen to this play music. Just chilling. Things are fine. We're not failing in our mission here, right, guys? No. Right, we never right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%, 100%. Uh, All success. 
Oh, that last mission. A bit more than a fever dream. Hey, we survived to fight another day. We will find it again. That wasn't again. the objective. Strategical retreat to bring on it was fire. not the objective, but we could not fight it or we would all have been killed. So it is, uh... We have to run. I'm just saying... This next mission needs to go better. Wait. Did Gideon change the request? What's the actual what? list here? Hmm? Do, do, do. Oh, uh, I, I think... I didn't change any requests. For your actual requisition. requisition. Masterwork Greatsword, yeah. Heavy Crossbow, Chain. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, where's the? Is there like one completed list somewhere? Did I just am I just not seeing it? It's in notes. So we just did. Yeah, I'm looking. No, there is no one complete. It's list. not together. It's just like individualized. No. All right. Everybody just sent their own messages. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, that's not. Except for Mika. Yeah. Okay, Thorn. Okay. I'd like to think this is just like, I guess not the quartermaster, but whoever's in charge of requisition going over our bullshit list. All right. Yeah. I, I see. I see Gideon's. I see voids. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, see thorns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Yago posted anything. The, no. the uh, and Ivy posted uh, just the list of spells out there by like five different ones on the twentieth. Yeah. Well, I'll and a short, short bow. bow. Yeah. And a short. Did you post uh, my new spell that I wanted? Uh. Necro, the ceremony. Ooh. Wait, that's you're just, getting people. That's just your level up stuff. I have to put. Uh, I have to put ceremony on there. Uh, if you go to the. Oh, I'm already on your laptop. Here. I got you. All right. Let's do it. This Appreciate way. you. Do 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 do. I just did this fucking way. This will be way easier. I just posted my list. And you're getting medium armor, Mikhail, or light? Uh, heavy. Uh, oh wait, yeah, three, three. There you go. We get the disc. Much blessing. Praise be the perfect lady. Okay. All right, Gideon, you want a masterwork? Great sword. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. You can only really get one of these. It's already hilted, so we'll make that anointed. All right. Ooh. Let's see. How should I do this? I'll make a... Mess. I already have, like... If you go to the, uh... Items tab and go to... Items, uh, weapons... No, 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 I'm not worried about that. I'm making a list yeah. right now. Of all the things hey. that you guys have, because I want to know what's out there. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. so I'll do it this way. Okay, so I have anointed great sword. All right, next up is heavy crossbow that has 
only the anointed property available for it, so we'll give you an anointed one. Can it be a heavy flamer? No. <laughs> Damn. Masterwork chainmail. Uh, if I need to downgrade that to... You should probably mm -hmm. ground that, because you won't be able to wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right. Um, breastplate works. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. That's work breastplate. Okay. For armor, we have... Anointed. Anointed, let's just give you that. Alrighty, you're good to go there. And Ariel, you wanted Compelled Duel. Oh, you got that from level Heroism. You wanted Heroism. Is that it for you? Uh, yeah, that's all she wanted. Okay. Thorn wants... This looks like standard gear. Standard mm -hmm. gear. Most, uh, I was wondering if the potions of purging... The bio potions... You can get them as a part of the two potions by paying one. Understood. Will do. And so you, then... So you want two purging the... potions? Yes. And then trading on silver for normal people currency, hopefully at the more favorable church rate, the uh, stall rate. Uh, hold on, I don't think you can do that. Let me check. Okay. Negative. Negatory. Then yeah, then that's it for the silver spending. Okay. Next up is. Necro wants Spell. Guiding Bolt. Yeah. Alarm. Identify. Detect poison. And disease. What's the. I wanted to see what the Master Work Shorpa was going to give before choosing it. Uh, probably anointed. Because you can't. Um, you're not high enough <coughs> rank to get anything better than that. I'm pretty sure. Let me check, though. Yep, just anointed. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Thorne. We don't do in muggle money. Is that a yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Short bow. Okay. Yagul wants one masterwork rapier. Uh, you, ooh, uh, you can get that weighted, hollowed, or anointed. Which would you prefer? Uh, what is weighted? Weighted increases its heft. Oh. For applicable purposes. What does anointed do? So, an anointed weapon allows it to bypass the natural resistances of evil creatures. So, like, a demon's skin, which would normally be resistant to damage, um, anointed weapons bypass those. I'll do hollow. Okay. Hollow. You wanted uh, studded leather, yep. Yep. Uh, we'll probably just make that anointed. All right. Studded leather. And it seems you want a hollow greatsword. Oh? Not you, talking to Merciless now. Yeah. Okay. Um, it says you want new armor and a heavy crossbow and arrows. So you don't want those mm -hmm. masterwork. Um, 
Cause no, because I only have, after buying the new heavy armor, I only have like one silver left. Okay. And you know that after you can't wear weapon. heavy armor to level 3, yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll just get it now. You're just gonna get yeah. it now? Alright, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, what heavy armor? Uh, what are my options? Not plate. <laughs> Uh, I'll take breastplate then. I'll just get the same as Gideon. Breastplate's medium. Okay. Uh, not. What are my options for heavy armor? You don't uh, want heavy armor because you can't wear it now. If you want to get it early yeah, because no. you can wear it later, that's fine if that's your choice. But your options are like splint mail, um, scale, scale. No wait, I think scale is chain mail. Chain, chain mail, mail, splint mail, things like that. The only thing you can't get is plate mail. Okay. Uh, then I guess I'll just because I'm wearing chainmail on my equipment now, so I thought I could just get new heavy armor. Um, well, this was before he was. This, a, this is a retroactive change that hasn't been told to you. Uh, then I'll just get new. I'll just buy a new chainmail then, and I'll just put it on later. Okay, you'll get new chainmail and then put it on later. That works for me. Do you uh, want it to be yeah, masterwork? Have, work? The, the, the problem is, is you won't have armor now. I could just give him his downgraded version because this is a retroactive thing. So, chainmail will just change to breastplate. I'm fine with that. Because yeah. you, you have chainmail on right now, right? Yeah. All right. So I'll just make that breastplate because it's medium armor. And then if you want to purchase chainmail now in anticipation of a level up later and then equipping it then, I'm fine with that. But yeah, okay, I'll just, do that. Just know that you won't be able to use it and you'll be carrying its weight until then. Okay. All right. Do you want to make it masterwork? Uh, if I can, yeah. Can you afford it? I think you can. How much is that? Two three instead of three. Two instead of three. Yeah, I can afford it. I got five, so I can afford it. Okay. Woo. I'll make that anointed chain mail. Because I wanted to burn three on the armor, one on the sword, and then one on the heavy crossbow. Which is some arrows. Oops. One on the weapon, two on the armor, one on the crossbow. All right, good. All right, I got the master list here. We got all your properties associated, locked in. I'm gonna call this the requisition list. God damn, you that's a lot of gold. What you got? That's a lot of juice. Well, where's the gold? No, I have it. I mean, that's a lot of gold value you guys are carrying now yes um is it possible in the three days for someone to teach me a spell depends on the spell uh be mikhail teaching me bless hold on who's who's moving somebody's moving the camera who isn't me mm. Uh, I don't think so. Not I. Hmm. Weird. Figure out how to stop that. Because it is agnoying. Agnoying. Right. Anyway, um, bless is a first level spell, so yeah, that's fine. You can learn that in three days. All right. And I will pay him our disgust seventy-five gold. Oh, and I, uh, Arcadia, I wanted to learn the spell, if it, if it matters, uh, ceremony. I gave it to you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Nice. Silas. I'm right. All right. We all locked in good? We good? Yeah. We Gucci? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, question for mechanics. Yeah. Uh, for ceremony, it says I need 25 gold worth of silver. Where would I obtain that? You just... You just buy that, like normal. Okay. Yeah. You just use cool. the seventy-five. I'll just say I and paid just you silver dust. silver. All right, cool. That works for me. Remember, that's silver, not anointed silver, so it's not the same. Don't get yes. those things confused. Understood. The seventy-five anointed Roger. silver is <laughs> fuck ton of money. With... That is so much <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> money bags over here. 
We call that a uh, a rogue target. That's what that is. <laughs> the rogue is the rogue <laughs> target. Then he should know better. He's gonna get mugged. You know, maybe it's because he's just so young. Anyway, so everybody locked in. Everybody got their shit. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Let's rock and roll. You must gather your body before venturing forth. Oh, we're missing one of you. Uh, it should be back in a minute. She had to go AFK. She said to continue on without her, though. Mm -hmm. Is requesting poisons and stuff, like, just normal without any money required? What's up? Broke, dude. Can I just request for, like, poisons and stuff without using any currency? I still need to buy it. God. Never mind. Then. Well, how much is it? How much <clears throat> are you going to owe Ivy? Oh, no, nah. She oh, a yeah. Loan <laughs> Welcome to the bank of Ivy. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get you guys to the Pale City overview map. Where the APR is your skin. Where, the, where the money is really controlled by the evil. Go. Yeah. All right. All you have to do is ask. Mm -hmm. Alright, and so money. the party leaves behind the church to go back down towards the docks in the hopes that they can meet with the quartermaster and to set and bait the trap. Let me go ahead and move. Let's get us some tunes in here. Let's go with... Yeah. Oh, do I have to buy arrows for the short bow, or did that just come with it? Comes with 20 shots. Okay, excellent. Same for the heavy crossbow? Mm -hmm. No, you don't get any. Damn. You know, no, I wasn't asking you. <laughs> well, then don't ask something so stupid. Clearly, it would. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you upside down by your collar. Did you just bat me? I'll poop you on the nose next. Go. I dare you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, as the party heads back towards the um, towards the docks, the meet with the quartermaster is pretty straightforward. He has already expected you and has posted you up inside of his shop, uh, and he will inform you. <clears throat> the proctor has already requested your presence, and I have provided you some places in which you might stand um, uh, unquestioned. If anyone asks, you are new deputies that I have hired with the new stock. Uh, but to be honest. This plan will only work as long as we can maintain an era of lack of suspicion. We cannot allow them to know what we are up to. So I would suggest that you talk to as little people as possible and make yourselves look busy. And while you're back there, perhaps you could arrange the cargo. The quartermaster says while shrugging, in indicating that in order to look busy, you should maybe be busy. And yes. help him with some free labor. Yeah. Eyebrow wriggle. Oh yeah, because you're here doing a job. Well, in order to not raise suspicion, we should get paid for the job. Yes. He will nod sagely and then suddenly go, what? <sighs> Fine. Well, I mean, if they're watching us, they just no stay out of up. sight. He immediately okay. bails out of that deal because he doesn't have money to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> No. Alright. I, I, I will, will continue fine. to I will actually help him out and do work. Nice. The quartermaster no, seeing my fellow brother with sword, I will help him I will go with Gideon. Double nice. The uh, I will appreciate the view. The, qu the quartermaster will go to the front of the dock or excuse me, the front of the um front of the building behind the counter and deal with the various needs of the different ship captains, merchants, and other such folk that have business with the quartermaster of this section of the uh, of the of the Pearl River. So mm. it is at I'd this like point... to make myself useful up to be over here. I'm sorry, what'd you say? You have, you have to get closer. Oh. And louder. Yes. I would like to kind of be up there and overhearing helping him get the small things or papers front desk assistant sure unless yeah 
All right, so during this time, I need everybody to make me a perception check. All right. Yeah, it was I'm one of our favorite things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, hey. God is blessed. I think this is my third. Oh nap my one. god, not your ghoul. Your yeah, ghoul, bro. <laughs> exactly. Somebody would need to roll for aerial. Uh, I got it. Yeah, he's gonna Thanks. have to. The Warren is staring at the clouds. She perceives. She thinks she sees a duck. Sorry, God, she crits on this one too. I'm demanding a recount. Oh. Oh. You have to jinx her. Okay, so. <clears throat> Here's what ends up happening. Gideon, you and your ghoul, while in the back, um, you, you moving boxes and your ghoul supervising, you're able to come up with the following. The cargo that is being stored away, uh, while some of it is the, uh, let's call it bait cargo that you've been dealing with, you also notice a few other things that are interesting. First, you notice that there is a categorization system in three different sections. In one section of the quartermaster's warehouse, there is what is referred to as church needs. So these are marked with a silver mark, and it mostly has to do with things like uh, religious paraphernalia, uh, silver salt, uh, controlled materials, things that are going to the church, and for the most part is the most well-kept. In the middle, mm -hmm. which is where your Ramunda is placed, is a series of cargo that is limited in its control, such as the weed itself, but also things like gold, silver, other forms of ingots, storage, uh, spices, uh, more of the more day-to-day -day trade that the actual port would have. Things that are high of value, but are not like a threat to mankind or something like that, like the other stuff might be. So essentially valuable, but not religious oriented. And in the other section, the, the third section, is actual local trade. Trade that doesn't go outside of the Pale City, but is rather within it. And this is the biggest part of the warehouse, uh, ironically. And there is all sorts of stuff in here. It's a whole grab bag of different things. Uh, some people mm. store uh, bolts of cloth, no doubt, for trade. Um, some people store uh, jars of jellies and jams, probably storing them to be sold during winter or other places of that nature. It's just kinds of weird stuff like that. Uh, the third... The third section of the warehouse doesn't really have any sort of categorization system at all. Things are just put away based on name. Your perception check reveals to you that while trying to stack these crates and boxes, trying to look busy in case anybody should be spying on you, you notice something out of place. There is one crate that has more security than the other crates. Most of the other crates are just sealed um, if they have a alchemical ingredient and they might have an alchemical seal which is a wax seal meant mm -hmm. like the closest thing to a to a environmental seal right that's the closest thing they've yeah. got in this time period but there's one that has even more security than that not only is it sealed with wax but it also has molt has a molten silver seal over its uh, latches and the lock on it is a very high quality now the reason that it's kind of off-putting is that this would be something that a noble would have perhaps even royalty uh, or matters of the state would be stored in something of that much importance would have that much security but it certainly wouldn't be put into the peasants area or excuse me not peasants but the common area of the warehouse like it's just sitting there it's it's in between mm -hmm. a crate of old bananas and some old ladies knitting they're just sitting there it's, it's so out of place that it's you're not even sure if it's a mistake. Because why else would it be there? Does it look like specific people are working around it? Kind of uh, trying to keep an eye on that? As of right now, there is no one else working except all of you because you're a part of the operation. And the mm -hmm. quartermaster was informed not to have anyone else come into work today because they don't want to array, you know, rouse suspicion. Yeah. Is there any heraldry on it i presume that by asking me that question you're getting closer to look at it correct uh because as of right now you just spotted it okay um i mean if there's nobody in here but us 
Yeah, I'll go Kay. see if I can see any heraldry on it. Yeah, since, I'll, I'll walk up with him. Since your ghoul also saw it, then you and your ghoul will meet up at the box if he wishes to join you. Yeah, I know. The others are... The others are busy looking at other things. Um, mm -hmm. Thorn might have spotted someone with kissable lips. I don't know. Some stuff's <laughs> going down. People are distracted. Chatting However, people, you know, chatting them up. Your ghoul and Gideon. However, you approach the strange box. Tell me what you would like to do. Uh, I'm I'm not touching it. I'm just looking to see if I see any heraldry or any kind of mar marking on it that would identify who this box belongs to. You see no coat of arms, heraldry, or even a maker's mark. It, it seems devoid of any marking of any kind. Where it's sitting, there isn't even a name underneath it like there is under most of the crates and boxes here. But you don't think a box of this value and this level of security would just be placed somewhere without any sort of recognition to it. We could place a tracking sigil on it. We don't have any of those. We do. Do we not? No. Just take one from one of the Ranta boxes. Yeah, but that... Do that too. Uh, I gotta go see. to the bathroom real quick. Just came out of nowhere on me. You guys keep talking right, about okay. what you're gonna do. I'll be right back. Hey, you... You're an eye guy. What do, don't you have like any magical eye mm -hmm. things you can do? Oh no, you want me to break into this box? I could never do such unlawful things. As, as he's he like putting out. his hands on the box. No, don't break. I'm not saying break into it. I'm just like. Oh my god. You don't he's want to break out the seal, man. Tools. Like it's. Look, this lock here, very non-magical to my perception. <laughs> It's not op it's not opening, it's the issue. It's the fact that we can't reseal it after it's been opened. You make a good point. You guys might just be able to ask about it. Maybe just on it. Maybe put the tracking seal underneath uh, it. Yeah, ask the, you can ask the quartermaster where this came from. He, he uh, took off. I don't well, know. yeah, for when he gets back, we're like we're strategizing right now. And no, no, I mean like the quartermaster took off. Master. Or did you forget? No. Uh, I asked him. I asked him for to pay us, and he just took off. Well, he went to like the front. Area to He's in the front talk. dealing with others. Yeah, See, I doubt he just like went home. <laughs> I thought he just left us in there and just said, "All right, peace." <laughs> See ya. I mean. It's just, it's just weird that this box is in this area and not in like one of the the higher up areas, like in the noble portion of, of the course. house. Of course. And, you know, in talking with him, you, I was like, I definitely least say we or... leave one of the boxes untracked and put a track and sigil on this one. Did I? We can't uh, put a track and sigil on it because then we'd have to open the box to put it inside. No, you put it, yeah. you put it under. No, you'd have to. You'd have to hide it. Um, oof. I mean, we can always just, just dimension door, door into, into the box. Where? Tracking sigil. Somebody comes questioning us about it. We can. We can do that. The, the, the tracking sigil is not actually like tracking it was for us to know and prove that they were crates stolen and stuff like that by when we when we, when we gain and take the crates themselves like well, I mean, when we capture them in the act of with our crates that this is the way we prove that there are crates well no it doesn't it's like follow up with where they went no uh, that'd make our lives too easy hmm. <laughs> Our goal is to follow and see where they went after they get taken. Well, Basically, do a stakeout. You go. You want to take this to the others and see what they think, or you just want to? We could move. It. We can move the crate to a different I'm location. I'm back. Sorry, I'm here now. I mean, we we could move it, but okay. Oh my god! I swear to God. There's more to uh. There's more to say. So, as yeah. you're looking at it. Make me. Is anybody here trained in Arcana? Oh, no, no one's come to get me. Not, so now, okay. Out of the people that are looking at it, are any of you trained in religion? No, no. I believe me. You're not here yet, though. 
It's just me and you. I need land. I'm trading survival. Okay. Well, in that case, that's all I can tell you. You just see a a box that has that looks very expensive placed in a place where you don't think it should be. Let's say if I were to open this box, would it be able to seal again? No. No. Well, considering that the box is locked by an advanced lock and sealed, the uh, the opening that would be difficult. And if you did, you have no idea if you could even close it again. Okay. Got a tamper seal on it. Mm-hmm. Flexi will fix it. Do you want to have Ivy come over and look at it? Because I don't, I don't know what to See, do. See, what you want to do is melt down some silver. You just fucking melt that in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could yeah. just break the box open, like, as, if you want to get into it, like, it's not, it won't, Yeah, but let's not do that and get somebody who's more magic-y to interfere. I'll go get Ivy, and yeah, just don't open the box. Hey, you got it. And I'll, just, hey, uh, and mm-hmm. I'll go walk over to Ivy, wherever she is. Uh, Ivy. Yo, yo what's up? Oh. Uh, I spotted something that's a little out of place. I was wondering if you wanted to go take a look at it. It's um, a, it's. I'll a just box. follow this. Okay, yes, yeah, follow me, and I'll I'll explain all the way that it's like, it's a very uh, uh I see. protective box like that shouldn't be in this area, but for some reason it is. All right, Ivy, as you approach, make me an arcana check as you investigate the box. All right. Eleven. (laughs) As you take a close look at the box, what you're able to determine is that it is laced in silver salt, which means that it is impervious to magical detection. Unfortunately, Mm. you're not sure that you could really find out anything else unless you're able to bypass the seal which is something that would need to be physically done. But that has yeah. definitely confirmed beyond any suspicion that this should not be here in this section of the warehouse. Well, this has anti-magic properties on it with the silver salt to block any kind of investigation to see what's going on inside of the crate. I say we move this to church area things and then question the Maybe we can just mm. shove it over in the corner somewhere so that uh, we could take it back to the church with us later. Uh, I'm assuming this is extremely irregular and very improper for procedure. Oh yeah, yeah. It should not be in this in this spot. If anything, it would be over in like the regulated church area over there, or in a in it over with the nobles stuff, not in this little common peasant area. Well, well, so when you go, again, Gideon. is Thorn there? No. Thorn's at the no. front talking with, um, with not the, peasants, with the, with uh, the people coming in. You guys just keep an eye on this. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, Do you want us to leave it here? I'm going to go talk with the quartermaster and then if he doesn't give me a good enough answer, then I think we, uh, confiscate it. Okay. So we just leave it here. Well, I'm leaving it with you guys for right now. Just work but around did, it. Did you, do you want us to move it? To it? I wouldn't touch it right now, just in case we don't know what's inside. Well, I mean, it's, I don't think like, something's going to attack us if we move it. That's what we thought last do you time know? that other warehouse. I don't know. You go check it for traps, man. I don't. You're a rogue, right? You do that kind of thing. I'll check the box for traps? Like, how does it Huh? Alright, investigation. Yep. Oh, investigation? That's my favorite stuff. <laughs> there you go. The box doesn't appear oh, to be trapped, God. just heavily locked. There's no traps around it, it's just locked. Okay, well then we can move it. Yeah, let's just move it. Okay, so well, let's move it over to this corner over here, out of the way. I'm, I'm gonna, before he does that, I'm gonna kind of scuffery off and uh, had to go find the quartermaster to talk to him. Yeah, we'll move the box over to the corner area, like where nobody usually is at, and we'll, and I'll keep an eye on it. 
Was there any identifying shipping markings on it? Mm -mm. It had no identification whatsoever. Mm. It's just All right. sealed up. All right. Okay. So Gideon and Yagul move the box, yes? Yes. Yeah. Something else that you learn when you pick the box up, it is alarmingly heavy. Oh. Like, geez. way more than it's supposed to be. God, what do we have in here? You suspect that the box, even though it's only a small crate, weighs about 300 pounds. Good God. It huh? takes you and your goal pushing out with your strength to move it into the other room. That means there's no way this thing was placed in here easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing's fucking heavy. Jeez, we should have got a wheelbarrow. Holy crap. And Ivy, I'm struggling, I'm guess. Ivy. I'm not helping. I left. Ivy, oh, as yeah, you move... Let's... Ivy, as you move towards the front, you can see that the Quartermaster and Thorn are dealing with customers, and things seem to be going... going just as normal. I'm going to kind of approach him and kind of discreetly say to him, uh, sir, there's something we need to have you take a look at. Uh, I'll handle things up here for a moment. Well, all right, then. What's, what's, the, what's the problem as he follows you to the back? Um, so we have something on the ship that is an unmarked crate that has been magically blocking any kind of identification of what's inside, and it's also sealed. Magic. Do you know anything of this? Magic? That, that... There's, there's no magic products back here. Well, it's covered in silver salt. Well, that doesn't mean something's magical. Show me the, show me where it is. Well, I'm saying it's blocking magical identification. I don't know what that means. Basically, it's shielded from detecting what's inside it without cracking the whole thing open. Well, yeah, that's what a lock does. Are you saying the it's lock locked? Prevents you. But any of the other cargo is not the same. I see. Just just take me where it is. He, he, <laughs> what you begin to notice, Ivy, is that he's far too slack-jawed yokel to understand the concept of what magic stuff you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. I, we, will, uh, we will take it from here, then. I just wanted to confirm that you didn't have a reason for it. Well, let me... St it's my responsibility if it's in my warehouse. Where is it? It's on the ship we were on. What? But no, no. Oh, I'm we're in the way. Oh, yes. It's it was. Uh, you saw them moving. It. Do you want to come take a look at it? Y yes, yes. He'll, he'll he'll wander towards the back of the warehouse. Um, where do you take him, Ivy? Where it was? Uh. Yeah, I don't mean. Okay. I, I'm kind of looking out to see where they would have taken it to, despite my telling them not to. All right, you move to where it was, and it's not there anymore. Oh my God! Where the hell did they go? Hello? The man will raise his eyebrow. Yeah? Why did you move it? Where is it? I, we put it over in the corner. God. Come on. Follow me. And we'll... I told you to not leave it. I told you to stay with it. My goodness. Are you just app? All right. Eddie waddled away, waddle, waddle, all the way to the next area. And there you see the box. The quartermaster will walk up and you'll see that there is concern on his face. I don't recognize this. He'll kind of take a closer look at it. It has no markings, no heraldry. And the place you said it was was also unmarked. He'll, yeah, pull, he'll, yes. pull, out, he'll pull out a small scroll and he'll check it. It's not on my special list. What is this doing here? Could somebody have snuck it in? Most likely small enough to not notice, but they seemed oh. to be struggling with it when they moved it before I left. It, it was very heavy. Like, obscenely heavy. I'm gonna insight check how strong you are. <laughs> nah. I, I'm kind of doubting it. Well, alright, Noodle Arms, why don't you go try picking it up? Alright. See, this is easy. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't strain yourself. Ivy almost shits herself trying to pull it in. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Unfortunately, it does not budge. Even a little bit. 
The quartermaster oh, will s- kind of scratch his head and also try to move it and see how difficult it is. Like, there's no way they could have snuck it in. All of my employees are true blues the moon. It. Mm, but, as you say, true blue, typically, you know, you find someone who's a little down on money and all of a sudden turning a blind eye or helping seems more... Well, I, su- I, I suppose Rennes does have a gambling problem. Uh, it always is gambling. I'm going to pat him on the back. Yeah, I was, I was excited it's, to see it... how much he believed that comment of all his employees being... Well, he's actually pretty confident, except for Rennes. Mm-hmm. He's the only one that seems to have Rennes. Well, it's, it can't be that heavy, can it? Once again, prairie dogging it. <laughs> Careful. Oh, that's, uh, that's how you get him right. I, I, I have to train more. <laughs> Not gather too many of us. You ever just, here. You ever just tear a hernia? Time. Just fucking break your entire. Like all of your. Yeah. Mika, what are you even no. doing? No. That's back how you to end up with loading the crates, man. Get out of here. I saw everybody. I wanted to. I wanted to be included. Leave me alone. You're drawing. I wanted to be included. Attention to us. People at the people at the front are looking over Thorn's shoulder oh in the back as people Uh-oh. are. Can I persuasion to keep their attention? Go ahead. See if you can keep them performance. Back there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thorn will go. Oh no no no. There's nothing to worry. But it's nothing. It's normal. They're working on some training. That's normal. You know how I mean, it it's is. normal. Trainees. <laughs> All right. It seems that the anyway, slack jaw like looks like the slack jawed yokels believe you, Thorn, and are not mm-hmm. easily distracted as they waddle away, going about their normal days. Thank God. Now, in the back, the quartermaster is distraught that some mysterious crate has been placed within his warehouse without his where- wherewithal. He will then turn to you and say. The only person I could think of that might be vulnerable is Rennes. And no doubt, since I told him he didn't need to come in to work today, just like everyone else, he is most likely at his same gambling den. Maybe he would know more. Well, ir- irregardless, I think we can't just leave this here. I think we need to be taking this back to the church. We can do that when we leave here tonight. Yes, the quartermaster will kind of cross his arms. Well, with all due respect, I'm not letting it out of here until I have some written wherewithal from your proctor or from someone of yeah. some rank. And what happens when I decide to tell them that perhaps maybe you might be held responsible for this? Because after all, this is your warehouse. Yes, which is why I need written permission to let it leave. Just go get the. I, I'm not suggesting document. that you don't tell them. I'm suggesting that you tell them and then give me written permission that it can be moved away. Mm-hmm. Which we will happily get, won't we, Ivy? Yes. And this seems weird for something that's clearly not yours. Following procedure is not weird. It. It is. <laughs> It's under my keepsake. You would have is it? I don't see it on your ledger there. Garbage. It's in my warehouse. Mm. Mm. All right. She's going to head on off to head back to get permission. Alrighty. That's Muttering to f- herself the whole way. That's a few hours away. What about the rest of you? Uh, I will continue to do the the usual work of loading up uh cargo and whatnot while also on occasion coming back to make sure that the box is still where we put it mm-hmm. all right and i'll be trying to pick up on faces on who is coming by today and i, think we're doing I know we're going to be following around. up on who's picking up the remote shipments later but trying to keep track as i am signing off and helping out up front sounds good Alrighty, as everyone's going about their day, following forward with the plan, while Ivy makes her way back to the church to get the written permission that the quartermaster needs to move the strange object, it is during that time that a very unseeming kind of person enters. 
wearing a plain trench coat, um, wearing nice clothes, but not so nice as to stand out, will approach and with his large hat take it off and will give a sweeping bow. Greetings and salutations to you, Quartermaster. I am here to pick up this. And he'll place a piece of parchment on the table. Thorn, your quick eyes are able to read it. And it is a request for 40 crates of your Ramada. Mm -hmm. I look over and see if everything is in order. Everything seems to be in order as the Quartermaster slowly reads through it and triple checking the order. Quartermaster will look up... Quartermaster will look up towards the stranger and will say, uh, one moment, please. I have to confer. And he'll kind of walk in the back and gesture for you to follow, Thorn. Hmm. We'll be right. All right. And he will get to the back and look over his shoulder to make sure that the stranger isn't watching. And then he will say, all right, gather around. This man came in asking for 40. It matches up. It matches everything that we thought. However... We have to be really careful, because it could also be a coincidence. So, I think one of you should follow him when he goes back. Because, see, he's going to order it, and it's going to take us some time to pack it up and then take it to him. Uh, I have no doubts he'll probably not stick around to wait for that to happen. So one of you should follow him. Does he have any kind of marking to see who he's work working for? Not that I've is? seen, but... The order is signed already, and then he will, and then he will look at the order, and he will say, "It is signed by." I'll look over to help identify the signature. Hold on. Where did I put his name? Give me a second. Alavantis Blackfrost. <laughs> My God. <laughs> It all comes full circle. <laughs> Biggest asses. Because he's a family of he's from a family of sorcerers. Hmm. Yes, he's quite thick. You know my favorite Roman general. Or is it the White Fire? Oh my God, they're arch rivals. Mm. Hold on. Uh. Put his name somewhere else. But you, you go. You're gonna be the one that tails him, right? Yeah, I can. Yeah, go. You got no this, problem. right? Yeah. Okay, I'm a genius on don't, tailing. Following don't don't stuff. stand in the middle of the road again, please. That was that was kind of what? Not kind of cringe. Smooth. I was that was kind of cringe. I, I know, but they they were they could see you just standing there. Being all menacing, menacing like it was weird. Then, they didn't I suspect me. I did my job. I did what was needed. Might have been by different means, but I I, I got it done. I uh, I mean you're you're the tracking expert, I guess, so you know what's best. Sometimes you just need to do an unorthodox approach. Uh, yeah, they I best hiding place is out in the open. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm oh, All right. Uh, the name on the parchment will read Douglas Hold. I'll type that out for you. Thank you. Is that a name that we would recognize in this city? Yes. Okay. Hold is a one of the prominent noble families. Well, oh. not super prominent. It's like mid-level, but... Enough that you'll Be notice here. it. Hmm. I'll upgrade to high team. Would Ariel be familiar with them? Yeah. Oh, goody. That oh. Uh The Hold specifically are a pretty kindly noble family. Uh, they deal... Uh, their family fortune is built off of paper, actually. They're oh. trade merchants, and they made... They made their fortune off paper and the selling of it and the production of it. Although now, since they've they come from old wealth, they're more of a political stance than anything else. Uh, indeed, many members of the Hold family are prominent members of the church that more or less specialize in serving into 
other areas of Corvanus. Uh, the further and more remote, the better for a hold family member. Understood. Mm -hmm. Ah, family of pioneers. How heartening. Let's look into this. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, and with that, um, the quartermaster will look towards the rest of you and will say, So, anyone want to follow him? Yeah, I'll do a bit of yeah, cool. And then we need somebody to fuck. Uh, Try yeah. that again, dear. Oh, and then we also need to have somebody keep an eye on this fuck, but we're also I'm, I'm, setting up I'm the shipment of 40. I think Mikael and Gideon would be enough to do here. Understood. And that leaves you, Ariel. What would you like me to do? Mostly keeping an eye on the box so that they can focus on getting the shipment ready as soon as possible so we're not leaving you ghoul alone for too long. I see, so my guess was correct. I'll do that then. Thank you. And we'll wave. And... Hmm. I so, guess we'll try to help and leave the quartermaster to the front now that we have a good lead. Yes. Prepare as normal and hopefully everything should go by smoothly. Alright, Matheria's light on three. Hands in. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Two, three. three. Matheria's light! Matheria's light! light. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Tap into so the power of the sun, one. Sunny D! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so much for being stealthy about this. Oh, I know, but right. it's still humorous. Go on. Your goal. It's team build. Yes. Would you like to follow the stranger? I will follow the stranger. Yes. <laughs> That's what I need from me. A, a big stealth check would be good. Do I have advantage? Because I have a focus on it or no one second I'm setting something up oh you're good also big shout out this is a custom theme made for you guys oh oh snap beautiful. I'm that so grateful nice. it's a pale the music theme. you mean yeah oh I'm so happy Mm -hmm. not, there's not enough pipe organ though. Be you want more pipe? The pipe organ Needs would be pipe great. organ and, and no. more cowbell. No. Ah, I, I have a fever, would be great. and the only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> Needs more cowbell. Ooh. Ouch. Someday the goddess will favor him. May her wind be in your favor. And a woman is I. I got a 19. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, oh, to be one with low standards. Or who we get. All right, let's get it started, Yagul. So you yeah. choose to follow the stranger to parts yes. unknown. One moment, please. Ooh. Let me know when you're loading. Loading, loading, uh, yeah, loading. nine, eight. Thinking, it's trying. Ooh. 100%. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. And I'm loaded. Oh, got some nervous heartbeat going. Nervous. Man, this winter's lasting forever. Yeah. The winter. The well, you should brace yourself. You are in the north. Oh, I'm loaded. Okay, here we go. So, Yagul, 
You take mm-hmm. after to follow the stranger, who, upon receiving the receipt ticket uh, from the quartermaster and giving the address, which you'll find out later, the stranger walks away in the opposite direction of where the cargo is to be taken. Oh. Make me a stealth check, you Another one. Well, that's some creepy music for this. Ooh. Baby. Oh, baby! He is one with the street. That's what we've been <laughs> waiting for. Yagul is unseen. Who's Yagul? Okay. As the stranger makes his way through the streets of the Pale City, Yagul is a shadow. Unseen. Combat roll. <laughs> Alright, see that the stranger takes a moment, kind of looks around this area, <laughs> and then heads towards the north. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> so cool. My hat never falls off, nor does it shake during the combat roll. It is D- did you glue it to your head? He moves over here and he seems to be talking to some other people. Naruto <sighs> <Earth> run. <laughs> <laughs> You're still false to one. Yeah. Alright, in order to know what they're saying, Yagul can get closer, but he's so stealthy that he does so. He's unseen and gives just a little peek. Yeah. All right. The stranger seems to be talking to a couple of other kind of street urchins and merchants, and you overhear the following. <clears throat> Soon I'll have enough food. I already made the delivery. Was it easy? That was real easy. I just had to turn in a receipt and get it back, and I gave the address, so I guess we're done. When are you going to get paid? He said that when he gets, when he gets the delivery that he's going to pay me. I just got to go back there after a few days. Are you sh- Are you sure you could trust that noble? There's no way. That's either that or start working for the Dark Master again, and I ain't doing that shite again. And they seem to be going back and forth about what they're going to spend all their money on. Mm, okay, okay. Do you continue to observe, Yagul? I will continue to observe this stranger. Eventually, the stranger stops bragging to these people and turns about and seems to go about his day. As he turns around to leave, he looks right at you, but you are unseen. You are only a hat in the darkness. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's so grumpy looking. I love him. Spider Dwarf. Spider Dwarf. I mean, that's literally his fucking name. Yep. Matt turns back, thinks he saw something, but he saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the walls. Imagine you're just like standing on the wall, but it's so unpredictable. He just can't see you. Yep. Our kingdom is having so much fun right now playing with Odie. <laughs> <laughs> My talent wasted on stock in this poor fool. You have the key information. Shake! Imagine being so good at your job, no one notices. Yep. Oof. That would be the point, though. Exactly. I know. No one saw how good you were at your job. Fuck! No one ever he's, he's doing one of those, like, standing right directly behind him. Oh, uh, yeah. What was happening in that one show? Yeah. Let me know you're loaded. Uh, it was a roll for stealth. Too good. Ooh. New man. Yeah, cool has unlocked a new title, A Hat in the Dark. A Hat in the Dark. Oh, a me... Hat in the Dark. Let me know when you're loaded. Unload it. Okay. Oh, this place. A familiar sight. I'm hmm. set. Must have been the wind. The wind. <laughs> Winds, how I step in the wind. Ha. 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 Oh my god, I rec- 
recognize this. I am, it's but I'm such sure. fond memories. Mm -hmm. Of when you met your first love? No. Um, but another gargoyle on the roof. God. All right. Yagul spies on the stranger as he eats and seems to be enjoying himself. He starts loudly bragging to the waiter and waitress. I'm telling you, I've got a lot of money coming in. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me. Bring me your finest bread. Go, go, go. Nom, nom, nom. Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, what the fuck is taking your ghoul so long? Slides under the table. Da, da, <laughs> da. <laughs> One of those fade in effect. He, Does he, he drops the sword and the ghoul hands it to him. He doesn't even notice. <laughs> oh no. That'd be good. Eventually, the stranger starts to get drunk. And then one of the waitresses kind of takes the bait and comes over. So you're going to be getting a lot of money soon, huh? You're going to finally take me out on a date, Heggy? My name's Harold, not Heggy. But yeah, I'll take you out. Take you out anywhere you want to go. Yeah, I'll have lots of money. Yeah, that, that Lord Hall's gonna pay me more money than you've ever seen, baby cakes. Okay, okay. You're a big man now, huh? Oh yeah, you, 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 uh, passes out. Mission complete. Returning to base. Just like that. Wait, did you check for a pulse first? He could have been poisoned. Taking him in for a target? No. Also to watch, not to interact with this man. Very good. <laughs> nice stealthing, bro. All in a day's work. Okay, so... <laughs> Yagul returns just as Ivy arrives with the permission from the proctor in order to retrieve this object. The quartermaster reads the request and nods. Oh, this will be all right then. You can take it with you now. You'll know, put that away now that his ass is nice and covered. Mm -hmm. However, Yagul, would you like to tell everyone what you found? Yes. What, what'd you find? Apparently, what do you... the guy that hired this guy is called Lord Holds, paying a large sum of money mm -hmm. for um... these 40 crates delivery. What? What? What, what happened when I was gone? Well, somebody, somebody bought, bought all the crates. Up. Yeah. Indeed. Hmm. Interesting. All and at so, once. So, as far as current evidence, we have the request for Hold be delivered to really know but like his address possibly and then we have Yagul's testimony presumably that the person that he followed also mentions Mr. Hold okay Yagul yes. is that what you heard yeah you mentioned uh, Lord Hold and the large sum of money bragging about it to everybody all right. Very well. Is this necessary and sufficient to act, or do we wait until the Ramonta is delivered? Well, I, I had a suggestion that we could do. Uh, how hungry are you, Yagul? What? I don't know. I could take a meal. I could go for a meal. What? Yeah. Well, he wants us to put him in a crate. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> He just, he just keels over. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm Sneaky, the curse. Mytheria, why have you cursed me? Well, I mean... Talent. Okay, but we have to get him into one that's not opened already and is sealed. 
And for the ones that are not sealed, those are probably going to be the ones most thoroughly searched anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, all the ones that are here are the ones that, have been, that are still sealed. The only yeah. two that were unsealed are still at the church. Yeah. So unsealing them is going to cause problems? Well, no, we just put him in an empty crate that's going we to have... the same place as the shipment. Yes, but do we have seals? We don't have to seal the crate. Quartermaster, do we have seals? Well, I could seal the crates. Well, it's Make up it to look you, as professional cool. as the others. Yes. I don't mind. Just give me some rations, some some water, or. Be happy to do that. I'd take some food, some rum. Um. Hey, 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 Thorn, can you put a catheter in for him in case he needs to go to the bathroom? Uh, what? So I can control oh, what? myself. What? <laughs> what? I don't know if there's medieval catheters. Or like, I'm just no, they would not be okay. called catheters. Do you, do you okay. think that they no. would take a rubber tube and stick it up your dickhole? I didn't say it had to be rubber. It well, has to be rubber. It has would, to be plastic. Would they? Yes. Would it help? Probably not. No. <laughs> not for medical purposes, that is. Well, yeah. For torture, definitely. They did a lot of crazy shit back Typically, then. it'd be, you know, a rod. Please pay them down mind. Hot. They are... Definitely thinking far beyond the box. Oh, What's most of that? You could always, you you could always important. use Flex Seal. That would take care of the issue. A uh, what? Okay. For Flex Seal. Regardless. Anyway, <laughs> refocus. Let's bring it yes. Let's bring Just it together. get him in the crate. Enough! Uh, so, we have, focus. we have two paths of interest. There's this that needs to be taken to the church, and all yes. of these that need to be taken to the location. Exactly. I kind of don't want to leave whatever is going on with this locked box out of sight. So, do we want to work on that first? Well, that. we should get I mean, your goals situated first. We can. We, uh, mm -hmm. I turn to the dock master. Uh, what, what? How are they picking up the shipment? Well, I'm going to be sending a man down their way. I've got a carriage. I've already loaded them up, but I don't have any employees other than you lot, so two of you is going to have to drive it. I was going to say, why don't, uh, why don't Thorin and your ghoul go? Sure. I, that's up to you. You're the one in charge of the oh, I was asking. I was not asking. I was asking the group. Oh, apologies. He'll stand at the side no. kind of awkwardly. <laughs> Listen, Sorry, you start paying that. us, you can start having a say in this. No. <sighs> Ivy. Yes. We are in okay, his territory. So, uh, it's fine, I don't mind. I you're saying that we should before. leave this box and getting it to the church in oh, no, 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 Mikhail no, no. in your hands? Oh yeah, yes, yes, you, you too, that's what I would suggest. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone has a better idea, but I think you guys are most capable when it comes to keeping a low profile when I look at Mikhail. To be fair, mm -hmm. if they are expecting the shipment being delivered, they're going to expect someone to be capable enough of unloading it. That is a problem. And as capable as Thorne is, and her attempt to move the box. Mm. We send Gideon also? Yes. We could spruce him up, make him look not so... I mean, perfect. he's working as a deputy for the warehouse today. It will be fine. Yes. Well, these crates aren't that heavy. They're like 15 pounds. Oh, oh my apologies. I will leave them to you then. It, it's just, it's the unknown crate that's the big heavy one. Well, I just wanted no, to ask and verify fine. how heavy the crates are. Uh, they range in, in weight, but it's like 20 to 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. Part of the well, reason why I, I, think, I think the person with negative one strength probably yeah, wouldn't be able no. to carry them very easily, but most people can. No. Well, she can take the light ones and <laughs> the one with preteen strength, probably not. I mean, we could send three of them, and the three of us can come back with it. The the, uh, that the sounds box. That sounds like a more favorable split. I agree. And that I way we, we have a distribution on strengths as well. I think we uh get you guys looking more proper for a dock hand. Do you have uh, outfits that they could possibly use? I'm in my civilian clothes, so yeah. I'm looking for something more dock worker looking. 
The man has sweated through most of his shift. I think he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be sweeping Grace at the ball. But he'll be fine. I throw my yeah, hands up. Okay. Back up and Thorn and Sweet Talk her way out of everything, so I think that is favorable. Mm -hmm. So is it me or Mikael that's going with the shipment? Mikael would be with me, and we will move the godforsaken chest. Provided that Ivy has brought back the paperwork. Is that yeah, what we are already. inquiring about? Very good, then. This way Ivy can keep an eye for two of you. Alright, well, let's get this over with. Let's get this going. Divide I'll try to buy time for you guys with us. Good luck. You don't have anything on you, Gideon. No weapon, no nothing. No, I left all that at the church. Why would I bring armor and swords with me? No, no, no. Nice. That is mildly terrifying. Well, we're, we were here to investigate, not fight. Like, why would I bring all that stuff with me? He's a sort all of right, etheria. Well. The man can think on his feet. Let him prove his worth. Well, proper lady carries their weapons around, and if things go hairy, you can borrow my longsword. Why, why do you have a longsword with you up front? People didn't notice that? No. Behind that curtain of hair? No. They were too mesmerized by her smile. No, okay. whatever. Anyway, moving forward. Trust in you all. And mm -hmm. together, we will make it. Gather the party. Got a calf, but okay. Come on, Mikhail. Let's see that wonderful strength of yours at work. Alrighty. Okay. So. I will. Go ahead, Ivy. I was going to say, I will, uh, I'll clear a path for you guys. You guys carry. Aye. Thank you, Ivy. Not not you guys. You guys no. blowed it up on yeah. your own. No, thank you for being, helping them out. Uh, Bye. Here. Uh, bye. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you. Save us. Let me get this straight. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Mm -hmm. You are going to... You are going to the noble's house. Uh, and you're going... And you're going there with... Some of you going there in the carriage to deliver it. Mm -hmm. yep. Yagul is going inside one of the crates... No, no, not anymore. No, no? Okay. No. All right. Okay. Good. I just wanted Thank to... Thank goodness. ...wanted to make sure that that wasn't happening. Um, <laughs> what? What's wrong with that because idea? I, okay, because I didn't, I didn't hear anybody say anything about air holes. <laughs> well, <laughs> believe me, believe me, point. I was waiting for it. And if you guys put him in a crate with no air holes, I was like, hey, man. <laughs> Welcome to your new character. He's dead. Jesus. Anyway, so who's all going where? Let me get the, the rundown. Who's going in the carriage? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thorn, Gideon, Yagul. Thorn, Gideon, To deliver Yagul. the goods. Deliver the goods. And the rest of you are where? To deliver the heavy crate to the church. Okay, so the other three are going to the church with the heavy crate. That's yep. what I understood. Okay, so the party yep. is splitting. Yep. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Once again, the party chooses to split. This is like the second time we've done it. Woo, Lord! Happens. I sure hope more, like, nothing bad happens. Time, actually. No. Yeah. Likewise. Nothing bad's ever happened. No, it's, it's okay. Don't tempt no, fate. Ever happens. No, please, tempt me. Fate okay. Is nothing. I'll send you feet pics. I don't want pictures of your gross-ass feet. I yeah. didn't say my feet. Dang, shots fired. Dang. It's my feet. Be careful what you wish for. Please. My feet aren't bad. All right, so Gideon, Thorn, and Ariel. Yagul. Yagul instead of Ariel? Okay. Ariel and Mikhail are Terry. Uh, 
I have no qualms being the one over there, armored and helping with the heavy moving, but I figured it would be best to move the heavy box. I think the heavy oh, box is more of a priority. I, I, I was just I was just clarifying who's there. That's all. It's, it's fine. Well, it's all good. I put it in the uh, game chat thing about Bob, so you could see it. Hey. It's like Ariel. And so. Mm hmm. 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 I only see. I only see two tokens. Where's your ghoul? <laughs> I got a bit of it. dooby dooby Loaded. Okay. Loaded. Ooh, apple trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are some big apples. Holy, those are the size of my head. Whoa, mm -hmm. those are some pretty big apples. It's a magic mm -hmm. apple tree. Cut it down. I like Cut it down. No. I like my apples big it's and juicy. Mm. <laughs> oh Burn the tree. I'm sorry. Holy flame. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so oh, dumb. They're so thick and That's juicy. That's so dumb of me to mm. say, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just don't think you're sorry anymore. I just think He's you're not. just having fun being a ham. A ham? A ham. A ham in it up, bro. You think I'm a piece of ham? What does that even mean? Am I just a piece mm -hmm. of ham to you? Oh, yes. No. A piece of mm -hmm. meat for you to idolize? <laughs> yes. Hundred percent. Oh yes. What yes. are we but flesh meccas? I mean that—that's why. What you're... are we all but just flesh meccas? Jeez. That's all right. That's yes. Why the Piloted your pants say juicy system. on them, right? Because you're juicy like ham. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. here we go. So, you ride up on the carriage with the crates on its back. As you do so, some guards out front will open the gates, allowing you to enter. And surprisingly enough, you see that a nobleman is waiting for you. You can see that he is wearing a, a olive lamb, lavender overcoat, complete with brass buttons. He is adorned in finery of one of his class, holding in his hand a wine glass filled to the brim with some kind of expensive year, no doubt, but he gives you a wayward smile, almost happy to see you. And you see this man. Mm. Douglas Hold. Greetings. Greetings, Mr. Hold. We are here with the shipment. Uh, greetings the... and salutations to yeah. you. It is good to see that the quartermaster has sent such fine and capable individuals to assist me with my delivery. Well then, um, you can leave it all out here. My personal guard will take care of it. I just wanted to make sure that the delivery goes by um, unmolested. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get to it. Oh. We'll hop down and start to help with some of the smaller boxes. <laughs> Thorn helps, favor. quotations. Oh, definitely. Mostly. So what... What do we see as far as the guards? Make me some perception checks as you guys start getting a little, a little eyeballing and rubbernecky. Mm -hmm. Bray. Bray. <laughs> Bray. Yagul and Thorn don't see anything. They are too distracted by the finery of the noble's house and his handsome face. Mm -hmm. Gideon, however is able to look around and he notices a few things. First things first, <laughs> it seems <laughs> that um, Lord Hold's guard are, they, hmm, uh, they- They stand no chance against me? Yeah, They true. They look, they look like they're ill-trained. They do not look mm -hmm. very impressive. Mm -hmm. You get the feeling that if you had to fight them, you could probably take on like four or five of them before they did a single point of damage because you're the best warrior on this side of Corvanus. <laughs> oh no, yeah. he has an un yeah. has an inflated ego. Yeah, that's no, right. Look at that little bitch. Up. You can take him. <laughs> that guy in particular, massive bitch. Um, as you take a look around, mm -hmm. you notice that he has about 10 guard that you can see. Mm -hmm. And all mm -hmm. of them bitches. <laughs> Anything else you guys would like to do while you're loading cargo? 
Uh, can I see if any of them have uh, some magical essence on their footprints? Sure. Give me a little perception. Ooh. A little uh, perceptees. Yep. Since you're Maybe. looking for that specifically. Hey. Well, you ghoul, you don't. His guardsmen seem to pass the vibe check. Okay. But. Oh. You do sense a little something on Lord Hold. Yep. Oh, he's boy. got a he's got a hint of the a hint of the of the not so good. Okay. You get the you get the feeling he's a little sussy. His vibe is has not quite not quite right. He didn't. Uh, uh... Do I like get that smell of burning Ramunda weed from him? No. Okay. He is very clean and pl- smells very pleasant. He does not pass my vibe check. Mm. I'll remember this. You yeah, cool will remember this. Flashed at the top of the screen. So, are, are we just leaving these crates here or are we taking them inside? Uh, we're leaving them here. The guard will deal with the Why can't we take them inside? inside? I don't know. He's a noble. He told us not to do it. Mm hmm. We're just dock workers. I think he... We don't get paid enough. I think for he's this. picked up. Alright, as the crates get, start to get loaded to his satisfaction, he will give a nod. And then he will uh, be on his way back inside. Mm-hmm. Psst, no word. Yeah. Distract the guards for a minute. What are you doing with your. Don't mm-hmm. come here and holler your big ass on Alright, Thorn. All right. How you distracting the guards? Mm-hmm. Well, what are you standing there for? Are we gonna pick this up? Who are you talking to? Hmm? The guards. Oh, I'm the like, guards will turn we've over and it. Come on. the guards will turn and look at somebody mouthing off to them. We don't work for you. Oh, so you leave them here? You go go follow the, the noble. Okay, I will. Attempt to I, follow I get, the noble. You don't have to do this. No. <laughs> if you don't want no, to. No, because Gideon is a fucking mountain and I don't want them to attempt anything right now. What? Well, I, I, Gideon's not going to no. go do anything. He wants you to go do it because right. he can't. Yeah, I'll, I'll, try, oh, to, I'll yeah. try to give it a little bit of follow, so, you know? So let me get this straight. You are asking Thorn to talk to the guards who is talking to them, and then you're whispering to Yagul to follow the noble into his own house. Yeah. Okay. Yagul, <gasps> would you like to follow the noble into his house in broad yeah, daylight but... while all his guards are there? Sure, now that he's saying it like this, I don't know, <laughs> chief. Again, you do not have to do this. Wait, don't we have like a little paper we have to give him? Did we already hand it over? Yeah, like all that, all that all the documentation and unloading is like done mm-hmm. so we're just leaving it here for his cards to guards to bring in like our side of it is done all for right the most well part. if nobody's picking this up then i think this is a bad we'll idea it up. no yep. okay. let's not do this i already got what i needed from him all right mm-hmm. well let's check seeing as you're done delivering it <clears throat> mm-hmm. the guards are like all right then off you go mm-hmm Get the bag. You start getting, you start getting shoved out. Yep. A uh, question for you: How much do y'all get paid usually? One of the guards like, "None of your damn business." But the other one, actually, since you asked, um, we don't get paid a lot, actually. Oh damn! Oh. I was, I was yeah. looking for a change of work and yeah. was. No, no, don't come here. You planning on quitting us? Hey man, I just two silver a day. I'm like, what kind of wages is that? I could get that down at the dock, slapping the shit out of leather. But why don't you yeah. go if it's so much better? Because he's also really chill. Mm-hmm. Plus, mm-hmm. pretty chill at the docks too. I like the Romano. Yeah, Romano's a good shit. The what? Um, mm-hmm. The the the, the Romano. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they don't worry gate. about it. They close don't the worry gate. about it. Um, As you can see, his guards are not very professional. <laughs> Alrighty then. And where are you going to meet up with the others? Uh, Back at the church, because that's where they were taking Back the at the church, you say. Excellent. 
on my way there, I will uh, tell them of the noble not passing my vibe check. Mm -hmm. Oh what does it my mean? god. Turn this card check. around. We're going uh, back. No, no, he what, had what, some what, what, essence gather of magic. Oh, gross. Turn this Fine. card around now. No. We get him. We get the squad, and then we then we get him together. All right. So eventually, you make your way back to the church, um, and you all meet inside of the common room. Uh, probably you'd meet here. To the common room we go. Okay, you meet up in the common room. Um, the other three have already delivered the box and have been thanked for their time and will be rewarded based off of whatever they discover is inside of the box. Let's go. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? They're planning on opening it later? Or... Yes, they have to no. undo the locks first. Very. Yeah, I just break it with my sword. I don't know. Security is very heavy. Mm -hmm. Can't be that hard. Just break it. It's a wooden box. Let's trust it. A them. magical wooden block. Fuck magic. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, we <laughs> found that the person that we've delivered this to, Mr. Douglas Hold, has some traces of magic and about. And security on his is maybe lack to do some work tonight. Hope y'all are ready for yes. the e evening shift, unless you think that he's planning on having a party we can infiltrate. But I didn't pick up anything like that. Alright, well, y'all discuss this. I'm going to my room and put my armor on. I feel Fine. naked. Alright, so you guys would like to report mm -hmm. into the proctor what you found so far? Yes. Okay. That would be... Well, then let me take you there. No! Oh, 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 I need to get go. my no! Alright, fine. Go to the. the... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I am no longer naked. Yes. You were never naked. Uh, please tell me you weren't. Honestly, I don't see any combat improvement on your outfit. I am. I'm wearing armor! <laughs> your attempts to hurt me fall on deaf ears! Uh, Even if you were just smarter, you wouldn't have this issue. And That's what he has you for. Mm -hmm. Off to the proctor. If you were yeah. smarter, you would have gotten a chain shirt. <laughs> All right. As you enter the proctor's office, he will look up and he will state, Once again, another report today. Well, my, aren't yeah. you a bunch of busy bees? Yes. Yes, we are. Well, what do you have so far? Well, we have the mysterious crate that was secured and blocking any kind of magical means of detection and currently locked. I think they're currently working on that. Um, we also delivered the um, crates of Ramonda and stuff to a one, I check my notes again, uh, noble by the name of... Where was Douglas it? Hold. 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 Was the one who signed off on the order Douglas for Hold. purchasing the 40 tra crates. Yes, sir. That's nobility. And Yes. I like understand, I sir. And we went to his estate. You and went to he his was estate. expecting the shipment. And he oversaw us dropping it off. However... He also had hints of magic on him. Yes. Hints of magic, you say? Hmm. I... I understand it's unpleasant to hear. Well, there are a lot of those of nobility that have elf in the bloodline and that's uh sometimes it's known that that's a kind of side effect of such a thing as to what you could do it seems like to me that you've um already done a lot of the legwork but going after a noble is a really difficult thing because if you shoot it, if you take a shot oh, yeah. if you take a shot at the noble and you're wrong we're done then, then you might be uh he might be excommunicated or worse. All right, his guard oh. also, his but we guard have also consume Ramunda. They were speaking of it casually. Just but having have... just having access to the weed and using it doesn't mean that you are guilty of apostasy. Mm hmm. And there's the concern he was perched. You're cutting out. Yeah, you're cutting Sorry, out. Real and bad. there was concerns that he was purchasing this in broad daylight, like very boldly so 
like the chance that he feels under pressure or under suspicion. Like, I worry that this might be above the board, so there's well, it might more to be, look into. But that might also be all the reasoning to keep it hidden. If he bought it mm -hmm. through a proxy and not himself, but was there when it was delivered, then that means he was worried that it wouldn't be. And he was also concerned with being caught in the actual act of purchasing it. As of right now, the only hard evidence that we have is that someone under the guise of Lord Hald attempted to buy these crates and they were delivered to his home. Just having the weed, as I said, is not indicative enough of apostasy, and because you mm -hmm. feel magic on him, doesn't mean that he is within the unsanctioned bounds. What is more mm -hmm. so, being of the noble-blooded, that means he has a voice on the council, and it will be mm -hmm. far more difficult to bring him down under just base accusations. You will need to provide sanctionable, irrevocable proof that he is an apostate if we are to stop him. Only if he must. So, unfortunately, I doubt that he would open his home just to anyone. And if we involve anyone else above us, then that will, well, that will make your entire existence redundant, wouldn't it, if you couldn't perform the mission on your own? Yes. So, my proposal is pretty straightforward. You're going to have to use subtlety on this one. You'll need to get the hard evidence that he is an apostate, if even indeed he is one. And if not, then you need to receive the reason why he has so much Ramonda weed. If you can bring me either one of those two things, then we can consider this case closed. Once you bring me the hard evidence, then we can enter the next piece, which is apprehending or neutralizing this threat to the Holy Order. I could apply to be one of his guards. And that would be... could be something. You I have an idea. Put it on the guise of moving up in the world. But let's, let's gather in our space to talk about this and yes. not take more of the proctor's time. Thank you so much. Do what you can. I can only give you a few days to complete this mission before I have to take it higher up. Because regardless, if there is even a chance that there is apostasy, it must be found. So I can give yes. you a few days to prove yourselves worthy of that credit. Before you go, remember this. Don't shoot and miss. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Did you hear that? And he's I telling know. us to shoot. No, yeah. no, Ivy. Oh, I have an idea. What is your idea? Well, I mean, the big beefy boys can go undercover as hired help, specifically if he's looking for better muscle. And uh, mm -hmm. Thorne, I think we could possibly do something about a traveling, uh, you know, performance act. What performance? Well, you know, you well, it's not about me, it's about you. What performance things do you think I do? I'm sure you could come up with some. Oh, goddess. Acrobatics okay. or something, I don't know. Well, what can you do, Ivy? I have my ways. Hmm. We will we'll put a pin answer, on but this. Okay. Do you have any thoughts, Ariel? It's hard for a noble to refuse another. I suppose, even if my family is in smaller standing, you would happily accept my audience. I think I would like to leave that as a plan B, since that would be putting a pressure thing. Or a lot of pressure on well, on then the you simply, of our mission. Then you simply won't be able to get in. And we'll have to leave you behind. Unless you have another idea of getting in. Having someone to keep watch on the property while we have Gideon and Mikhail infiltrate is one thing. 
Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. what we need someone to talk our way in, and you need to have some yeah. way of getting yourself in there. I could just yep. open the door for you while everybody's asleep. Do they sleep? Assuming they accept you in. You're what? assuming you're going to be allowed in. That's all this is, is a bunch of assumptions. Yeah, this is true. Sure, sir. So we have way. a couple well, of, we have a couple you guys of didn't... things that we can offer. We have possibly entertainment, possibly guards. So what sounds like we need to go places around him, what he feels that he is lacking mm. and provide You're an answer out. to it. Oh, God. Unfortunately, oh. you guys didn't talk to any of the guards to find out if they had any events coming up or anything going on that we could have used as a disguise to go in. And on mm -hmm. top of that, we have no idea anything really about this noble. So we either have to wing it or we have to spend a day collecting information on the noble before we make a decision. We do know that his family deals in paper. Perhaps we can utilize that as an asset. I'll think on it, but nothing comes to mind. But still, right now we have two value propositions. The ma manual force and I guess we can figure out something as far as entertainment. If we spend the day and gather information on what he feels he needs and then be the ones to provide that answer, we can move forward from there. Yes. I wonder if his family serves the church, though. Yes. Church contract would be rather juicy for them. If they don't have one already. Sorry, Gideon, you were saying? I was gonna ask, like, if he has, like, any kind of, like, big parties or events, he'd invite nobles, so maybe ask your family if he has anything going on, since we didn't ask the guard. That would be helpful. Yeah, it would. Well, that will take Sorry. time for a response. Well, it's... How come? It's coming up on the evening right now anyway. We're not doing this tonight, I don't believe. Are we? No, I don't Time is believe... on the essence. We have a couple of days to figure out if he is or if he is not a traitor and apostate. This is true. Yeah, but it, it, it'll take a few hours to get a response from Ariel's parents about whether or not he's having an event planned for in the next few days. If anything, I can see if I can go to them directly. Cut out the middle man. Sounds like a plan. Well, in the meantime, I would like to grab you ghoul and go stake him out. So are Mikael and I going in the morning to apply to be bodyguards? Or guards of his... You could attend, I mean, so. That depends oh, on the thing. I mean, we need to get information, and sitting here is not going to do it. So you want us to go apply to be guards? I don't honestly care what you do. I believe I that applying... Hmm? Sorry, please. No, and I can work on gathering information tonight, and I'll let you know, I suppose, in the morning. Anything else? I have to go have an awkward conversation. This could be fun. Mm. Yes. The dark Thurman professional splitting up. Go. Yeah, we are professionals at splitting up, dude. This is our city anyways. Who cares? Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, living is nice, but we'll see what we can do. Living is overrated anyways. Oh boy. Gods. Gods. Are are we not finishing mm. dinner first? No din din? Yes. Little, <laughs> no din din. A little no supper. A little brekkie would be good for me, I think. Yeah, we finish din din. Alright. I want my bacon pancakes for dinner, man. <sighs> I want my baby bag, baby bag, baby bag, baby bag. Oh my goodness. Chili's oh. baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Looks good. You should share some, Gideon. There's there's plenty on the the just, table. Just takes the one. Rack. <laughs> All right, guys. So, is the party ready? Yes. 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 
Uh, I will not be again. wearing my uh, armor that is clad in <laughs> oh <my laughs> the God. emblems stuff. of the sword. You I'll wear really normal sh- armor and weaponry. <laughs> when you guys I just need to are get... the nobles prohibited from hiring like the church? Well, uh, what? Well, he I... probably won't hire the church. No. Okay. Uh, so Gideon, we're going the the morning after, right? Uh, we're. Well, mm-hmm. what time we're is it right, right now, Arcadum? Is well, it like it's late evening? afternoon? Mm-hmm. By the time you make it to the noble's house, the sun will have set, and it will be evening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd say we just go in the morning. All right. Then, if we're gonna sleep it off, I, uh, I'm gonna use all of my. Uh, I'm going to cast my three spells of ceremony, use all my silver, and turn the three vials of water to holy water that I have. I'll recharge it overnight. Will you you be radiating exposure the next day? Hmm? Yeah. Or I don't know how quickly exposure goes through. That's three exposure. He's he could possibly use that to his advantage and try to seek aid from the noble saying that he heard through the guards that uh, he's got that sweet sweet fix oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's the good stuff that's the big brain captain okay oh i did so who's staying paper. who's staying behind i the think dynamic. most of the party uh half uh, the party is so yeah. gideon mikhail and Lauren. I was going to try to go to my parents to see if they knew if there was any noble events going on, particularly with the holds. Well, you already know there isn't. Okay, so we'll just mark that there isn't any event going on with the holds. Cool. Stakeout time. Right, so I can... If you guys want backup, I can be your backup. If you would prefer that I back up the swords, I could also try to apply to be a bodyguard. I mean... That might be for the best. Maybe help Thorn out. If he wants. I, was... I wouldn't mind helping you out. It's what do you need? Right. Uh, two, two, two. That's where well, we can be organized. Or no, you're the type that needs to sleep a lot, don't you? planning on staying up and oh, she's she's ah. gonna be a uh, she's a wanderer so Asking she can pull an all nighter mm-hmm. I was going to see if there was anything that Mr. Hold's been looking for lately various drinking until late and then returning to let them know anything relevant in the morning oh okay are you going to stake it out tonight I think she's gonna go yeah. into the find Pretty information much. from the city. But it's kind of like staking out in the city, yeah. All right, I need to know. Okay, now you guys are confusing me. Who's... She's going to go to talk to people, particularly at bars, to see what she can find on information on the noble. Okay. Ghoul and I are going to stake out the residents. Okay, yes. and where's Ariel going? I'll act as her backup. Uh, she's at, pulling as... all nighter, so you'll be exhausted mm-hmm. in the morning. Probably keep an eye on Mikael and Gideon tonight. Yeah. Very well. Then, as long as you're confident that you will be safe, I don't mind. I'll I'll avoid go risk. The puppies in the kennel. <laughs> Not now. All right. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yay. Here we go. Because sleeping is for nerds without coffee. Dead ass. How's Ivy gonna deal with it? I'll take I'll take sleeps. You can just wake me up if we find a good vantage point. Mm-hmm. All right. Everything is a good thing. I guess we'll start with you, Thorn. Thorn, make me some persuasion checks. Let's see how your information gathering goes. Let's go. Is this uh, at the basic level or advanced? This is advanced. You're specifically looking for information. Yes. <clears throat> well, I would. Here we go. 
Okay, what are you looking what? for specifically? <laughs> yeah, so... It would be for recent changes as far as Douglas Hold, as far as if he's been looking for anything lately. It is, it is noted, it, it is noted <laughs> that um, Douglas Hold is of in the merchant in the merc excuse me in the noble circles uh quite a mm -hmm. go-getter quite a party hound he often can mm -hmm. be found attending multiple events both private and public uh he is a prominent dilettante of of the pale city's uh social circles however it has been noted to those that have been paying attention that within the last month or so it seems that he has become more sullen, more melancholy, and has not been uh, answering the calls for social gatherings. He has been far more mm -hmm. like a recluse, a hermit within his own home. And have his needs for guards and shipments to the state changed? No, nothing that anybody could give you with any reasonable level of mm. accuracy. The only thing that you're able to find is that he was once seen uh, in the social circles and the, on the party scene, and now he is not. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, and his demeanor appears to be more sullen, more solemn than it was. Did he upset someone? Circles. Nothing or is accurate. He shunning himself. Fair enough. Hmm. Do -do -do -do. Well, that's probably as much so then we will be doing the all night getting back and writing a note for Gideon and uh Mikael to go forward with the plan or just waiting for them to go off to the stakeout I suppose alright <clears throat> alright and with that Night begins to fall. Oh, God. There we go. Huzzah. How pretty. Oh. Maps are always so pretty with the uh, lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's pretty dark. I see a lot of opportunities here. Okay. Spider sense is tingling. Make me perception checks and make me stealth checks, both of you. All right. Uh, perception three. Just for context, I am I am quite far behind uh, Yagul whenever he's moving. At least for the perimeter stuff. That's fine. But... I just need your base rolls. Okay. Oh my god, I'm more stealthy than ever. <laughs> Alright, Ivy will be out here. Your goal, you'll be taking point. Yep. Uh, let me reveal what you see so far. You see the following. You see... These individuals. Hmm. You what see, is the building? You see that... Oh. You see that this one is moving up towards the edge of the street that goes through the, the complex, and it seems that he is waiting at the gate expectantly, constantly oh. looking at the moon and checking the gate, as if he is waiting on something. The others just appear to be on guard. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what they're waiting for. We should probably hide ourselves and we can observe what's going on. Yeah, let's observe them. All right, so you guys just wait it out? Yep. All right, after you wait about an hour or so, um, the streets are starting to clear. Even though the city is still a city at night, um, the, it's not so much a curfew, but you're considered weird if you're out at night because why not, what could you possibly be doing that's okay? You know what I mean? Uh, that's kind of the whole shady. outlook, yeah. However, mm -hmm. eventually, a carriage suddenly pulls up right in okay. front of the complex, you notice that the carriage make me perception checks. Okay. 
I don't know, you know, one of these. I guess you guys don't check. Hey. Hey. Ivy's hat oh. is far too big. Yagul, however, is able to make out that there is a pattern on the carriage that is not what he expected. You do not oh. see the symbol of the Pale City or any of the noble houses, but one that looks to be like a brass fist pointed down. You recognize wow. the symbol of the Brass Baron. Oh. oh, shit. The carriage opens, and you see that this man steps up. It appears to be an officer in the Brass Baron's um, in the Brass Baron's military organization. He will step out and wait at the gate. The guard, who had been waiting for him, immediately opens the gate and stands to the side. And then the gate is closed again. You witness as the man enters, walks forward with purpose and pace, showing that he's been here before. He seems to know exactly where he is going. Oh. And he is led inside. I think we need to get close enough to figure out what's going on. That's definitely very suspicious. Uh, how many windows are on the outside of this building right here? Oh, uh, there's really lower high. Well, there's plenty of access points. They're kind of high, but you'll have to get on the roof. Oh, okay. Um, how how many stories is the building, or is it just one floor? It's two. Two. Mm. Or it appears to be two. Well, do you think he can get up in there and stealthily find out what's going on? Could attempt to. If... It would be a bit difficult, since he looks to be uh, experienced. Well, just close enough to at least casually hear if you can. If not, don't push yourself. And if you need me, uh, I can help create distraction out here. Yeah, you got it. I will try to scale these walls on the side and find a point. Maybe I can peer into a conversation, hear them out. All right, you want to scale the wall? I hope. All right, is Ivy going to help you? Uh, I'll, I'll help him try to find a good spot and... Make me an athletics check, you ghoul. I have a climb speed. Oh, that works then? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, spider dwarf, right. Spider, spider man. Dun, dun. Spider dwarf. Spider dwarf. dwarf. Does whatever a spider dwarf can. And just wait until they grease the walls or something. Spins a spider and his wolf. Holy shit, spider wolf. Look out. Here comes your spider wolf. Oh. Alright, here we go. Well, that is. You are way too fucking tiny, Harry. <laughs> Goddamn grid. I'm small. What have they done to me? It's still too tiny. <sighs> Fucking grid. Yes. What is this? A map for ants? <laughs> what is this? A map for ants? Yeah. What am I? One of those filthy halflings? Come on. I'm a dwarf. Taller. All right, let me know when you're loaded. All right. I'm 80%. Lord it. I'm loaded? I'm loaded. Right. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm make it night. You are on the roof yeah. of the noble's home. You can see that there are access points over here and there. there. Seem to be some windows to get in, but you also see that there is a large hole in the roof 
leaning as a natural sunroom, uh, sunroof for the waters below in the courtyard. You can also hear that there are voices coming from down below. One of them you recognize. I will uh, get closer to this hallway here. Okay, you're gonna get a little, get a little. Hmm, hmm. What's happening down there? Yeah. Hmm. All right, I will put you to where you are on the first map, but remember that okay. you're above. I'm on the roof. Okay. And I will set you up. So, wherever you appear, you're not actually there. You're on the roof above. The roof. Yeah, the roof. The roof is on fire. fire. Oh my god, the roof's on fire! That might cost some arson. Just burn down the noble's house. Yeah, All the Ramunda gets Dude, the spider dwarf is like the greatest thing for this campaign. Alright, and very, here you go. Very serendipitous. Oh, you see the waters here? Yep. You're you're here, but on the roof. Yep, yep. On that's, the roof. So that's where you were looking down. Big shout out to the map makers, hooking oh, me up. Yeah. I, I think they did a good job. Okay, so as you get to this point, you can see that uh, Lord Hold and the stranger from the Brass Baron seem to be seated and in deep discussion. Nice. Make me a perception check, and let's see how much you can overhear. All righty. <laughs> A lot. I'm percepting. I'm doing it. Look at me, Matheria. I got it. All right. Unfortunately, with that roll, I will have to omit some information. So randomly, I will not speak. That represents okay. you unable to hear them. <clears throat> Where's my... There it is. I thank you <clears throat> I thank you for coming so soon. I know that there was not a lot of notice. It is fine, my lord hold. The brass baron is very patient. So, why is it that you have summoned me so early before our request was done? As it just so happens, I have finally received confirmation of my brother's death. I see. That is unfortunate. We had yet to hear back from Team Epsilon, but we had suspected the worst. Indeed. My brother's death was... wrong. The Brass Baron holds no degree as to whether or not the killing of apostates is correct or incorrect. We only care about how much of your particular aid that you are still willing to give. As it just so happens, we have lost a team as well to the band of the church's baning of apostasy, and we have lost vital intel that we were going to trade with you. The Brass Baron has permitted me to apologize on his behalf. Uh, we are sorry, but we were unable to recover the mage's notes. So my brother's attempts have been in vain, it seems. The man will lean back in his chair, just kind of downtrodden by this information. Are you sure that there is, is no trace of... I am afraid not. We have also not heard anything back from... It is unfortunate that we have lost so much intel in the area. And what is the Brass Baron planning to do next? How may I be of further assistance? That is where we have come to an impasse. The Baron believes that any further conciliation between our two parties may result in mm, unworthy exposure between the two of us. We know that the Pale City's Council will... Such a thing needs to be very carefully mandated. I do still wish to help. If 
If I can be of such, that is. But tell me, what does the Brass Baron plan to do now that he has lost the source? The Brass Baron's plans continue as was discussed last time that we spoke. Make no mistake, his plan to... to the fruition of such a thing is paramount and most important. Furthermore, we have come with additional news, something recent. Please. We have recently received word of the actions of the Golden Iris. We think that their presence has been located within the Broken Oaks, within the... and the... even the... and some within the very pale city itself. Most distressing indeed. I have thought of going to the council for it. Would the Baron be amenable to that? The Baron's initial response was no, although recent events have forced us to tip our hands in ways that we were not ready and prepared to do so. We will leave that to your judgment, Lord Holt. And what of... that? If you are referring to... Preparations are still underway. I have a request to make of the Brass Baron. I know it is a lot to ask of, but I need, I need to know whom was responsible for my brother's death. The records only say that one of the hand performed this wicked task, but it also references that there were others involved. I wish to see them brought to justice. The Baron is amenable to seek justice for you, as long as your payments continue. He shall have whatever gold I can spare. Good. In that case, I must make haste, but there are other visits that I must make this night. And with that, the Captain will stand up, Douglas will stand up, and they will shake hands. And then the Captain will leave. Douglas, we'll go to bed. Um, what would you like to no do? More. I want to quickly scramble down to Ivy. Maybe we can get a track this carriage. We don't have any. I've told you guys already. We don't have anything to track with. No, like tell them, follow them. You want to tell him? Yes, tell the carriage. All right. Oh, God. There you go. Who the hell was that? Quickly, we need to try to attempt to follow this carriage. I don't know if he'll be able to keep up with it. Could you do a little bit of magic here and there? How about this? I'll create a distraction. You can hop on the back if you can. I'll try underneath, maybe. So, you guys are going to try and follow the carriage? Um, well, I think I'm going to be making a distraction so I can attempt to hide under it. So when you say hide under it, do you mean as it's going by? Well, I'm going to stop it. Yeah, and then I can get under it and oh, no. hold for a bit, see where he gets taken, where he goes, what other nobles he visits. I see. States. In that case, I need a second. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Combat roll cling to the undercarriage. Nice. Yeah. I would be sick. Oh, a lot of puts his down. spidey hands on the under of the carriage. And his head hits every rock. Just 
just don't fall off because those wheels will probably hurt. True. Thank God forbid it they stop the carriage and see what they hit. <laughs> Vacuum dwarf, dude. Sitting there. Armless. You hit me! I'm claiming insurance! I'm claiming insurance. I uh, real estate. Yeah. Well, technically, while they're waiting for the particular captain to come back, I suppose if you roll high enough stealth, you can try to sneak on without Ivy having to be a distraction. Or Ivy could just simply buy you additional time so that way you can make sure that you're secured on the underbelly. Yeah. That sounds nice. That sounds good. Good, 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 good. Up your chances. Less likely to slip and bust your skull open. I got a hand to spare. I have a way of stopping it. Don't you worry. But I will. Also, you're not here. Real. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't stop the sass though. Lived in that head, rent free. Mm-hmm. Well, payments due. It's time to pay that brass tax. But, um. But, um, dum. Alright, so. It all comes back. The carriage starts to, um, starts to leave. And. Uh, I don't have any easy to move carriages, so this grouping of That's people fine. represents the carriage. Oh, you got it. All right. You see this coming around the corner. Just outside of the, uh, of Lord Hall's estate. All right, it's, it's coming. It's not going super fast, but it's not going super slow either. It's... Uh, right as they get towards the intersection, I'm going to cast minor illusion and they're going to see a young child just kind of stand up alrighty a child stands up in front of them the driver of the horses the enforcer turns the reins and starts to turn the carriage around them responses Well, that's not enough time, nor has it stopped. I'll, I'll let it go for a little bit. It's amazing they could turn that fast. Yeah, not going that fast. Well, okay, when you summoned it, did you summon it in front, like directly in front of it? Yeah, yeah, directly in front. Oh, okay, well... Hold on. This baby can turn on a dime. <laughs> what the? I mean, they can turn pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But I'm trying for it. If, if she, okay, where are you putting the child? Just in, fr like, as close enough, as close as I can that they can actually see it. Okay. In that case, the brass enforcer will pull on the reins, stopping the horses. Hey, get out of the way! Use this opportunity to right. attempt uh -huh. to hide. I'll have it like do like a walk away and have it kind of disappear okay. as soon as it gets kind of dark. Make a stealth check. Stealth. Come on, buddy. Come on. Matheria. Blessing? No. Hey. Oh, shit. Okay, that's low enough. I gotta roll. Oh, boy. Uh, all right. I was gonna say, does he have advantage from the distraction? No. Perception. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, you go. You, you try to. This fighter gets squished. You try to. You try to slide underneath the carriage, and your rapier just gets caught on the stones, makes a bunch of noise as you oh, grab underneath, fuck. and you will hear a. 
from inside, and the Brass Enforcer will pull on the reins again. Oh, we'll no. see the men come out. Sir, I think we hit something. And then you will hear a voice inside. Search! Make sure we didn't hit anyone. I'm going to cast... Uh, once I start searching a little bit, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion over, like, here. And it's going to sound like one of them's yelling out that they found something. Okay. We found something! The hell was that? At this point... Oh, okay, I'm lagging. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, oh, no. if, we just, if we just get the uh, dungeon disconnect we can do whatever we want right we win oh my god <laughs> we can win the dnd win D &D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only we're all proxies. level 20. <laughs> not really too worried i could just i'm gonna run miss away. you <gasps> <gasps> this one Ready starts go. walking over there and now the captain steps out oh shit oh fuck. what in the hells is going on we thought we served something over here, sir. Just get back onto the carriage. We have places to go. We cannot linger. All right, he calls back his men. All right, you ghoul. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Make an athletics check to hold on. Athletics. Uh, athletics. <laughs> okay. The carriage pulls away, and your ghoul is left behind. <laughs> oh no! I just face palm, and I'm, I just kind of cover myself in a shawl and just kind of walk you along. Leave him there in the snow. Wow. Got them bastards. Wow. All right, your ghoul, you cool? Do you just trying to follow him? Okay, he's still following. Yeah, I'll just follow by foot because this carriage thing is just too much for me. Look, he's caught standing in the street again. <laughs> Literally in the middle of the street. Bro. All right, and you will Watch see that the carriage stops here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, this is a familiar sign. Captain will come out, and we'll seem to be having a conversation with this man who is awake, at not the times when a merchant should be awake. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to listen in. Why not? All right, stealth check. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. All in. I'm running out of exposure. Out. Yeah. Oh my god, he did it. <gasps> <laughs> yes. I'm actually getting nervous. <laughs> I'm ahead in the darkness. I'm under your table. You immediately embraced the dark. I was He's born. peeking over his shoulder. Raised did it. All right, this is what you over here. Do you have the delivery? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Here you go. And you will see that he exchanges a bag of something, Yagul. You can't tell what's inside the bag, but he hands it to the captain. You see that the captain handles it with extreme care and hands it to his gendarm behind him, and they store it away. Are you sure that um, that he needs that much? It's going get, to start getting suspicious when I have no inventory and no one's come by and bought anything. We understand that the risk that you are taking for the Brass Baron. You shall see that you are well compensated as long as you provide the materials that we need. It shouldn't be for much longer. And how much longer do I have to be here? I don't want to live here anymore. I want to live in this new place that he's promised. We understand, and all that has been helpful to the Baron's cause shall be rewarded in due time. And with that... The man will nod and will hop back into the carriage as the merchant goes back inside. All right. Okay. Responses? I'm going to go interrogate, interrogate the merchant. Well, I don't really want to feel like moving alone, so I'll just chill out. And I'm gonna say, and I'll say to you, if you give me signs to follow, I can catch up again. And 
this snow, signs will just be covered. Pee in snow. Use the carrots! Use the <laughs> carrots! <laughs> no. Hide behind the mouth or not. of dead bards! I'll let if anything, get away this time. Well, I'd rather you go follow. Never mind. I will follow afoot. If anything, you can just watch where they go and we can check them tomorrow if you do. I would suggest not getting too close. All right. Well, he's not actually this close. I'm just moving over here. So yeah, I know. Over. I'm just letting him know. All right. With my means of escape. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Hold on. I'll get, <laughs> I'll get back to you in a second. Let me transfer maps. Uh, I don't know if it's getting too dicey for me. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Knock, knock, Stay motherfucker. motherfucker. Oh, ski, 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 ski. It kicks the table to the side. Oh, ski, 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 motherfucker. Ski, 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 ski. Meanwhile, Gideon puts on his little night crap, get, gets his teddy bear, and crawls into his nice warm bed to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, what a. What a person. What a heartwarming way. <laughs> Mikael says <laughs> the prayer in Latin and crawls. Mikael says a prayer in Latin and cuddles up with a sword and goes to sleep. Look at these buffoons <laughs> sleeping while I'm risking my life out here. Goddamn. <laughs> Look at them risk their lives. Hey, you could have stayed and not gone to investigate. You didn't have to go. You missed out on all this information? What? Is what? like they working don't with the brass bear in the crime. I'm sure, like what their relationship is. I know more and how is persona. I'm stuff here. I, I'm really I'm really happy that people are checking this stuff out. It's so much lore I get to review. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if only we had better perception. We could. Guys, more. look. I'm sorry, but I, I can't. Yeah, it's probably driving up. people crazy when I'm like. And, I do. It, it, and the secret me. is. Yeah. Ah! I was. Just vibrating. Oh, what, man? Uh, I'm doing my best out here. I swear. I know, dude. Well, I mean, great. no one else would ever get there that easily. No, mm -hmm. not at all. Mm -hmm. I just... You can athletics check, but I can climb. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Me and Gideon would be cutting the guard. Me and oh, Gideon would yeah. be cutting the guards down in half. I forgot. <laughs> No, I, I would have just jumped through the first floor window. Seeing as he's the second dwarf. I went to go jump on the wall to start climbing. I go through the window. Fuck. They don't think it'd be All like it is. All of China now knows you're here. All of China now knows you're here. Knock, knock, knock. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're in there. All of China. Knock, knock, knock. Hold on, I gotta get to his token. All right, hang on. All right. As you, uh, as you knock... Uh, you will hear a voice say, We're closed! You better come out before I knock this door down. Oh. That. Lone Ivy. Is that a girl? <laughs> a little girl? A woman. <laughs> wow, sexist. <laughs> yes, I, I need help. Oh, okay, in that case. You will hear the, lo oh, the door no. lock further. Ah. Damn. All right, then we can play this the easy way or the hard way. Go away! Is there like a crack at the bottom of the door that I can see? Yeah, it's, yeah. All right, I'm going to get down and peer through the crack and yeah. I am going to. Oh, no, we uh, left her alone. Hmm. I'm going to summon like the most dangerous and most disgusting looking tarantula that anyone's ever seen about like three feet and it's going to be like in the corner area okay you're going to summon a three foot tarantula nice yes <clears throat> the door will open and this man appears and he will close it behind him uh, run for your life he starts running I grab I... Uh, okay, okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> grab him. Go ahead. Athletics. See if you can grab him. Oh, boy. 
Not 16, bad. let's go. And Ooh, mine I swear is... I lose okay. another... Oh, let's go. You grab let's him. Go. I didn't lose to a pedestrian. What are you doing? There's a spider in there. There's it's no so big. There. Yes, there is. Look. And there's nothing there. Oh. I tricked you. <laughs> you did this? Yes. Why? That's hair. Well, <laughs> that's up to me to find out why you were talking with the captain there from the Brass Baron. No kind of raise an eyebrow? No, I wasn't. You're clearly lying. I stood here and watched you guys talk. Okay. Why are you standing here watching me? Because I'm assuming... Let, let, let's go back into your humble abode while we talk about this for a moment. Uh, okay. And make sure the door is closed. There's no one else here with him. No, right? he, he lives alone. He's kind of gross. All right. So the thing is, the Brass Baron and also the noble who he's working with, Mr. Holden, are under severe investigation from the church. And we're pretty close on finishing up and arresting everyone. I just need to know what your part in all of this is. Well, I don't know nothing about anything like that. Well, you know that's a damn fucking lie. What did you give them? Well, I, I don't know what you mean. I didn't give them anything. You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Shall I bring back the spider? It has a very delicious bite. He pulls a dagger. Okay. Alright. Oh, God. Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Peasant we fight. Can't lose. Here we go. Peasant <laughs> fight. fight. Don't, Damn. don't lose. <laughs> Please, the God. Don't I swear lose. to God, if he. <laughs> Christine taunts me, I swear to God. Don't fuck it. Oh he, only ha he only has a dagger. <laughs> yeah. He only has a dagger. You didn't tell you yeah, to tell you before. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, you you tried to interrogate a guy without backup, bro. Oh, this is why I can never lose. Oh, as crazy no. as your hat is, you're just a fucking little girl. He stabbed you. Well, right. I just want to note that, like, off screen, we were all together and we're like, who should never be I'm, left alone? Okay. And everyone's like, Ivy. Ivy should never be I, left I, alone. Okay, you okay. want to know why? Yeah. Because of this. Listen, I'm clearly not a young girl. I'm clearly too busty for that. Yeah, all right, he stabbed you now. <laughs> oh, oh, did 14 hit you? Oh, that hits. Oh, Jesus. No, please, Ivy. Six so damage, bro! Bro, <laughs> Why did I roll back? Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, blast him. Blast him. Do I really have to blast him? I mean, you do what you want, dude. He's a fucking... All right, first, first, I am going to martial check him. Okay. Hold on, I got a martial check first. Just proper procedure to combat. Ten. He's... That's not... You're not a warrior. It's... No. You don't to say. You don't know. It could be anything. He could, right. he, he could be a random commoner or a god. Who knows? <laughs> He's right. literally a spy. You're going to get folded in two. Glass mm. merchant. <laughs> it's a fucking glass merchant. Dude, <laughs> dude Ivy, please don't bring shame. I'm, I'm going to tell you, he has 10 hit points. He is a normal okay. guy. Please do not lose to a normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has the same HP as you. Is this the bad time to say that I have a lot of utility stuff? Oh, no! no. <laughs> no. no. Alright, no. I guess I'll do this then. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> This is fucking oh Bob, the, the door guy from uh, <laughs> Star Wars. Please don't Bob die on the merchant, dude! Please! <laughs> Please. Alright. So, uh, this prison yard shaking you. I have, oh, two, I have two ways out of this. Uh -huh. Either uh, do you call Guiding Mr. Bolt or Tasha's Hideous Laughter. <laughs> oh yes, my yes. god, they're both. Hideous Laughter, you know, that's good enough. <laughs> what happened to your magic missile? 
I look. I magic missile. <laughs> oh god. No. Oh, that's so funny, dude. <laughs> had a good run. I'm not even gonna. Please, die. please don't we'll, die we'll, to the guy. We'll, we'll do guiding bolt. All right, shoot him with disadvantage because he's in melee. Oh. Uh, you, you don't go. Sure what have you done? Yeah, that. Oh man. What? Basically, <laughs> the, the basically the call is: Do you think you, do you think you can hit his AC, which you don't know, but I can tell you it's not very high, on okay. a on a disadvantage, um, uh -huh. or do you think it's I think you could hit his save easier. I mean, I will tell you. I will tell you. He's a glass blower, so he has some decks. So, dude, your actions have consequences, and they appear. Bro, dude, these are the consequences of your actions. It's like you. He grabs him. You're. You're gonna tell me where it is. Pulls dagger. Fuck. Man. <laughs> this is why cops have partners, like Ivy, like bro. bro. If you have, no, but Ivy is dumb. She doesn't know. That's that. okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not bragging on you. It's you just, are the only. Please don't, stabbed. Stabbed. please don't get stabbed. Please, please don't get stabbed by a guy with no name. He's <laughs> He's, just to think that Mikael, just to think that Mikael and Gideon are peacefully nice. sleeping back at the church. Oh man! Uh, I need to, I need to think of this. Yeah, this is a yeah, very take, critical yeah, moment. yeah, take a critical moment there. You gotta... yeah, Jesus. Right. And what do you mean, Ivy's dumb? Like she has 18 intelligence. Yeah, you're the only one. Yeah, but she has no wisdom. Oh, None of us have he has her no street smarts. is not here to tell her that's is a bad idea. I will tell you if he drops you, I'm gonna have to give him a name. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna level up, bro. Glass <laughs> merchant, the mage slayer. Let's the go. Mage slayer. Oh my god. Um Oh my god, this is the cloud. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. The dagger will be named. Unfortunately, had to be a 14 and not a 13. Oh man. My the dagger will be called Wizard's Bane. It's gonna be great. And he will now be known as a glass assassin. You could disengage and run. Just run for him. I'm bleeding. Alright. Oh. But that. But it's only one bleed. Yeah, but he doesn't have to twist the knife, I don't think. I don't no. think he has just a knife. He, he's just a guy. He's a guy with a. He has a knife. He's just you know, a guy. I've honestly just never been in this position where this is mortal peril with a name with NPC. Just a guy <laughs> with a you dagger. Are a wizard. You are a. You are all right. A wizard oh, okay. With all right. All right. So you got you're level two, right? So you got chant. Oh yeah. I yeah. About you that. could probably chant your way out of this. My God. <laughs> Dude, use your demon killing spell on him. It's the only way. My demon killing spell. I mean, got no, no, I'm I'm referencing uh, gamers of darkness rising. Uh oh. Uh, 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 I mean, you thought that was a great idea. That actually does not actually help me here. Well, fuck. Other than it gives me plus one DC. I could up your uh, save, right? For um. Uh, for the save. Use everything. Just yeah, survive, that's all it please. is. I guess we'll do Tasha's hideous laughter. Whew. You gotta chant it. it. Yeah, of course. All right, here we go. My first chant. <laughs> All right, the first lot. chant is against a fucking, a fucking no, that's guy. Not what I uh, that's oh, I that's the wrong one. Yeah. There we go. It's Please a DC roll 15. Hot. DC roll 15. Like All right, wisdom saving throw. I have no wisdom bonus. Okay. Okay. I have that's to weird. not roll a 15 or higher. Please, dear God, do not let her lose to a fucking random guy. Please don't do it to her, dude. Okay. No. No. Jesus Christ. Praise be Materia. Uh, also, take one point of bleed damage. Ow. Yes. Damn. Holy okay. shh. Okay. Um, I start. I start bowing and men print prostrating before Materia, begging for forgiveness. Uh. Which is your version of it, which mm -hmm. is just uh, mm -hmm. action denial. So I don't do anything on my next turn, but at the end of my turn, if I recall, I get another save. So yes, here we go. All right. All right. Please don't fucking kill my PC with a random guy. No, Please do don't. 
Okay. Woo. 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 All right. I I want run, that run, dagger run, to be run, wizard's run, bane run. so bad. He in fact repents harder. Please. That that's how bad this is. All right. So that's it for his turn. What are you gonna do? Uh. Walk away. I am. Guiding bolt this ass. I, I, Fuck this. Run. I should remind you of three hit points. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so you got so two free moving, actions. Moving is going to take a point of my HP, ne right? Negative. No. Moving does not. Dashing, okay, which is I, an action, does. I will... Oh, this is easy, then. Um, I take a step back. Okay. And then I believe I have advantage now with Guiding Bolt. Okay. He's prone, so no, you don't. You still have disadvantage. He is prone, yeah. Uh. Just run. Just leave. Just go. Please get the Be fuck free, out of Dodge. my child. <laughs> Be free uh, from responsibility. <laughs> Your consequences are not here to kill you today. Go. Well, hmm. So oh, the good news Oh, also, is, what's your hollow at? Oh, shit. Uh, my hollow? I have two. Well, two. I have three, actually. Three. I was going to say you did two. I believe you cast three uh, no, spells. I have two. I have two. Oh, yeah, because you ignore the first I, one. I, have, I ignore the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's where. Because well, I'm in combat with an NPC called Glass Merchant. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, the good news is, I have potions of healing. Oh, good. Who's one of them? Um. Yeah? Hmm. You're going to take that healing potion to beat this powerful foe? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so glad I didn't crit max damage hurt. <laughs> I mean, I would have still I would have still been okay. Would like you? This... Oh, would have been. I actually would have died. <laughs> yeah, you would have went yeah. down. Oh, Is this just enough damage? How this sucks. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, All right, there's no way he hits me again. Right? You okay. think so? Right. You think? Right. You think? Right. You think? Right. Right. So I'm going to just drink one of my potions he definitely... of healing. Okay. And. Wait, get a roll. Get a roll at first. Uh, no, I... I just got max. Okay, right. you, got all, you got all of that. All right, now I have to re-add it one because I manually removed it. Uh, and I am going to... Bonk uh, with your stick. Did you have a staff? He does ass. Yeah, but the staff is not going to do much damage, and that's going to undo his... Time. It'll give him advantage. It'll give him advantage on his next save. It doesn't auto. And I can't drink a potion and do all of this in the same turn. Oh so yeah, I'm... negative. Right. Yeah. Um. Let me remove so that was your action. Let me delete. There we go. Um. Jesus Christ. Dude. <laughs> uh, well, I will just end my turn. Okay. <laughs> He's still prostrating. I'm mm -hmm. rolling to escape. This is really what they say when they mean. Okay. You have to go. Oh right. my god. Would I be able to walk over and cuff him? With what? Oh. My Metharian shackles. Yeah. yeah. We all have handcuffs. Yeah. That'll take an athletics yeah. check. Because he's still oh, resisting. Boy. Just because he's denied action economy doesn't mean he can't resist. All right. I will shackle him up. All right. Athletics back. check versus my athletics check. <clears throat> No, no. Oh, to God. No, he, he, oh, no. He won't. He just won't. I mean, to be fair, I thought it was just him athletics checking the shackles, but okay. I mean, you. The spell well, you doesn't. The first. spell. The spell only does what it says, and it only removes his ability to take actions. It doesn't mean he can't resist. Uh. Okay. It doesn't. That, that, that doesn't make him. Step. That doesn't make him restrained. It doesn't make him disabled. Uh, it does make him prone, and technically this would be a melee attack, so I guess I can give you advantage, but that's the best I can do for you. Hey, you know, take it. Uh, we, we take those. Uh, I probably won't be able to be at a 14, though, so. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No! All right, that was yeah. that turn. Next, I'm going to make a save. Saving throw. Oh, 
thank God. That beats it. It's close. No, no, Wait, it's a 15. Uh, well, I'm gonna Marshall check them first. Wait, was it 15 for the for the whole thing, or just yeah, that 15? One no, what? it's for the whole thing. When you cast a spell, it persists. All right. What? Uh, what okay. do you? What do you? What? What is his HP? His HP is 10. Yeah, he, 10. he has 10. I already gave that, and I'll give you something else. What else do you want? AC. His AC is 12. All right. <laughs> no. Hit him with your staff. Come Please go to sleep. Staff is not going to do that arrest. much damage. Beat him. <laughs> well, you can't arrest him, apparently. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you just going to stand there all night? And just... Drunk, drunk, day there medicinally until he... All right, you know what? We're just gonna guiding bolt him at disadvantage. Oh. All right, okay. put the gun against his head. <laughs> Pull your trigger. Now no! he's dead. Hey, that's enough. That is. Hey, yeah. that hits. Oh. You, you hit the peasant. Non, non lethally here. You cannot non lethal guiding bolt. Oh. You can't do that. Oh, yeah. You yeah. didn't. Uh, what? You Why? can't do that. You can't. You've never been able to do that. No, you can't. <laughs> Okay. So, to be fair, I have never had a ruling on this before from you. I, even in base rules, you can't do that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've had a lot of games where they have it. Base rules, you can't do that. And in mine, no. It, you can't... Okay, you can't non-lethal ranged attacks, first of all. And this is a ranged attack. And you can't non-lethal No, I'm magic. standing in melee. Yeah, it's still a ranged attack. <laughs> it's you're shooting the gun. Like, it's not... Just because it's close. Oh, right. If you want to do something else, you can. <laughs> I mean... Do you, do you want to kill him or do you want to bonk him? Mm. Don't bonk him, just try to shackle him. I'm fucking crying, <laughs> bro. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, blow his head off! Bang! <laughs> blow his head off non-lethally! Unfortunately, I only really have... Alright, fine. We'll, we'll fucking bitch and staff his face. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, oh my oh, god! You can, you can not lethal. Like, this is the whole point of doing it this you, way. You can not lethal it. Yes. Yeah. For oh, oh, still god. alive. Oh, For no. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I have I have wonderful news. Wait, wait. That's uh. That's. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's not. Correct. That's six. That's six damage. Cause that's minus one. It should be set for my dexterity. I don't think my stuff's set right. Okay. So that's six damage. Six. All right. Yeah. Two more damage. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's a big difference. That's a lot. Uh, of all right. I have. I have. I have wonderful news. Because I've taken damage, I get advantage on my save. Oh, good. That's not wonderful. News. <laughs> oh no! Yes! I rise. But you still get a turn. <laughs> Don't fuck it up, dude! <laughs> He's gonna stab you! Don't let him stab you! <laughs> Don't let him stab you, please! Don't let him stab you, bro, please! <laughs> He's gonna prison yard shake you! Hit him, Don't him let him again! Him. Hit him again! Hit him! Teach him a lesson! Yeah! Oh Damage him! Oh god! Oh my Plus god! one, that's four. Uh, or no, 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 you already added your All right. So three damage. Yeah, just, so he's at one health. Listen, oh. I do not want to do this. <laughs> he doesn't care. I'm not going back to prison! I'm not going to give you- I'm not going to ah! you to prison, asshole. He's going to stab you, <laughs> Here it comes! It Don't let it get out! Oh, no! Uh, oh. oh! Okay, so four no. damage, he's stabbed. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh, man. This is getting intense. <laughs> All right, it's coming down. Teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> no. God. Yeah, oh, kick his ass. Please don't miss. Kick oh, his ass, he mess. Oh, come on, please don't him. miss. Kick his oh, ass. <laughs> Kick him in the face! Beat his oh, ass! Yes, bass, let's go. Use your magical powers and destroy the enemy! <laughs> Use your bitch oh No! 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 No!
<laughs> don't you dare! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it. No! <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it just, it, call it hubris, call it misfortune, whatever you'd like. Ivy is stabbed in the shoulder by the glass merchant, and as she goes down, sliding against the, um, uh, sliding against his merchandise, he will immediately take off for a run. He does not stand to finish the job. He's getting the fuck out of there. However... The unfortunate truth is, is that now Ivy is bleeding out by herself at night, hidden in one of the merchant stalls. However, you guys were actively fighting and he was not being quiet. So, first we're going to see if Providence saves you. We'll see if any of the nice townsfolk heard you. Go sure, bring your uh, bitch make ass this, over here, I'll make boy. this a DC I was really hoping 15. for a persuasion check. DC 15. Okay. For what? Oh my god. For the random people that might have heard uh. something. Unfortunate. No. Okay. Damn. Okay, here we Fuck. go. First death save. Let's do it. <laughs> One no. fail. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, Ethereus, Jesus Christ. Please. Ethereus Grace, please. Bro, do not bleed out in the middle of my Shakes fucking the pendant. shit. Okay, okay, that's okay, one okay, pass. Okay. Hold on, hold on. We'll see if more people can hear you. Oh. oh. Okay. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh thank God. Evan. DC oh, 15. God. That's what I needed. Thank you. All right. The class merchant comes back. Well, as it just so happens, Actually, someone is mind. working nearby. Oh, it's the fucking grocer. The grocer, bro. I give him a silver. It's fuck. a grocer we interrogated. <laughs> the grocer that, uh. I made rich. I, I made him rich. Oh my goodness! God. She was a child. <laughs> Someone's hurt this lady! Ow. He'll start to bind your wounds. Don't worry, miss. I'll help you. <laughs> nice alarm. Alright, what, oh. what do you have in your pockets, Mivy? Oh, uh, I have a quiver and uh -huh. bow. Yeah, I'm looking. Let's see. What else you got? 100 gold? 124 gold pieces? Damn. <laughs> this guy, dude, he's a millionaire now. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got an anointed silver at 124 gold. Holy shit, Damn. this lady's loaded. Maybe she'll give me a reward. All right, he'll finish bandaging you up, and then he will call for the guards. Help! Help! For real! Hell, it's, it's a bloodbath in here! Blood everywhere! Blood everywhere! All right, where did, where did, oh I, where did I put that glass merchant? Gibbons. Mage Slayer. <laughs> Arcadum. Arcadum. The knife is called Wizard's Bane. Fucking crazy, dude. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that's, that's fucking. That's fucking crazy, dude. That was wild to me, bro. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. <It's> like <sighs> losing the bob before oh, taking. God. The <laughs> oh no! Suddenly oh, shit man. talking you and being like, "This is why I'm the best wizard." All right, let's let's. Uh, I think um, I think Ivy needs a bitch and scar from that fight, dude. That's a, <laughs> something to remember by holy fuck. Jeez. No, there's no scar. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a scar on her shoulder. Well, damn. there's a scar in her pride. That's for damn sure. <laughs> no one will know about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they won't. 
<laughs> yeah, all the all right. grocer and city guard will not. Say and don't worry, the grocer seems like a trustworthy guy. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. And, the, and the guards are going to tell the church they found you bleeding out in the, in the merchant stall. Alrighty. Where did, uh, where did fucking your ghoul go? Oh, yeah, he's still following the team. I'm following yeah. the guards. Bro. Bro. I should have stayed behind and whooped if some he, ass. If he no. had stayed there, it would have been so good. But so no, easy. Ivy was so, so, so insistent easy. on him going. Okay, to be fair, I was expecting it like a persuasion or intimidation check. Not what, a full what, not, what, prison, what, not, not a prison yard stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have rolled intimidate. You didn't even let me. He just immediately turned around and stabbed me. Well, yeah, but you didn't really say anything. Intimidating. I didn't even get the finish. Well, yeah, because he's you, you attacked him. Like what? I didn't attack him. Yeah, you did. No, when? You you grabbed him and threw him into his stall. Mm. You used physical mm. violence first. Like what? I I I I like grabbed him by the shoulder and and pulled him into the room so we could talk. Mm. I didn't like shove him. Okay. Anyway. It's too late. I, I was so confused why he just immediately turned around and stabbed me. Because he doesn't want to get caught by what he's doing? Like, do you, do you not know a criminal mindset? That's fine. We're good, though. It'll all work out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was just, that was just some good D&D. In that was, which we see the that weakness was, that, was, that was fucking crazy, dude. That was wild, <laughs> man. Alrighty. You just, you need a bodyguard. I got you, fam. Are you loaded, Yagul? You got, oh, no. Yes, I'm loaded. Don't All right. die, Yagul. Make me a perception no. check. I hope not, I won't. Okay, cool. Six. Oh, this guy's still here. Holy. Oh, he passed out, dude. Yeah, he, he's, he's sleeping there. All right, you kind of follow the captain and the rest of his guard. Yep. Yeah. As they rounded a corner. And you can see them starting to turn. Oh. Oh, fuck. Never mind, I could have done way better with that one. Okay, when you get to about this point, you can see that the yeah. captain pulls the carriage over here. No, oh, sure. Steps out of the carriage and then goes towards the post here. Looks around and moves his hand underneath this lamp post and pulls something out. He puts it into his pocket and then it continues over here. Gets back in the what? carriage and then he drives off in this direction. All right, I'll make a mental note and keep following. This post, okay. All right, this I'll have to take you to the overview map. At this point, they start to travel for several hours. Oh, shit. You can tell me at any point that you want to disengage from following them, but... So this was the docks area where you guys were, like this area yep. over here. He turned right, or excuse me, he went left. <laughs> he went this way, going up this way, He's going down this way. Okay. It, it seems that he's headed for the southwestern gate. Oh, he's leaving now. Do you wish to continue following him, or do you wish to go back? I'll follow. Okay. Yeah. You follow down the road to about here. And at this point, right. you can see that he stops right at the gate 
and a couple of men approach him from the side. You notice that the guards here are not even looking at him. They're pretending like he isn't there, it seems. Oh. And when you get to about this point, you can see that the people that approach him appear to be people that live on the outskirts of the city, the slums, mm-hmm. so to speak. Some of them are poor and downtrodden, but some of them seem to carry more of a, a fire in their eyes. They definitely seem more determined. And as they approach him, you can see that some of them end up shaking his hand and crawling onto the carriage with him as he drives further and further until he runs, until he moves into the distance. You get the feeling that he's leaving the area. Do you want to yeah, continue following him or go back? Okay, that's what I thought. No, no, I'm going to go back to church. Back to the church or back to yeah. where you left Ivy? Uh, yeah, let's go pick up Ivy see how her... Yeah, because you, you, know, you don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you go back and she's not there. There's blood everywhere. No, by the time you return, this is what you see. Where am I looking? I'm, I'm loading it. Hold on. Nope. Oh, right. that's the wrong one. There you go. Okay, when you get to about this point, Yagul, you can see that there are several other church guards that are moving in. And you see that Ivy is being lifted up between two shields. Fuck. What would you like to say? She look a, Did she look away? Uh, she is unconscious, but you can see that she is breathing. You can see that there is a stab wound through her cloak or through her coat and along her arm. She was attacked. There is also mm. blood on the stall. Okay. Is there like tracks of somebody else, or does the snow cover them? You don't see anything like that. Hmm. Max the Grosseur, what happened? Does he know? Uh, the Grosseur is just kind of picking up after things and like investigating the area along with another of the church guard there. Uh, you can go ahead and ask anything if you want. Hey, Grosseur, what happened here? Uh, I, I don't really know. I, I heard fighting and then I came around the corner and I saw your, your colleague just sprawled out on the ground. I saw someone running to the southeast, someone in the distance. Southeast? Wait, wasn't this a, wasn't there a merchant who was here? Well, I, I thought there was. Maybe he was the man who accosted your friend. Okay. Um, you said southeast, right? Yes, that's where I saw that he went. He points in this mm-hmm. direction. Why not? The night is young. I will guess I'll try to give chase, which I'm fucking so many hours behind, though. Yeah, he's, he's long gone. Okay. Yagul cool. cool. will chase after this brigand that attacked his friend, and mm-hmm. Ivy will be transported back to the church. <laughs> Never gonna live this down, fool. Why didn't no one just feed me my potion? They don't know you have no a problem. potion. No I problem. Sorry. Do you went for my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> the grocer did. Yeah. Gro- yeah. The grocer did. I'm gonna take you back to the church to be healed. That's what Yogul does. Everyone knows I have potions. Well, mm-hmm. Yogul does? He didn't do anything with it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. All right. you would. I was never I told, them. do you have I, emotions? I, I, I requisitioned them in front of everyone. Okay. Hair potions, your deal. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Out of commission. Fucking get him. All right, you ghoul. Give me an investigation <laughs> check to see if we can, we can hunt we down this brigand. to this merchant? Is he just gonna be level three? <laughs> no, don't say these words. Oh, that man got a fucking level for sure. Unfortunately, he has the long rest before he gets a level. Damn it! Unfortunately, Yagul, you're unable to find head nor tails of this, of this glass merchant. 
and eventually the sun begins to rise. Fuck. Oh well. No one died. No harm done. <laughs> Thank God no one died. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's been awful. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Hang on. All right, rise and shine, princesses. Mikael, Gideon, up, 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 up. Hold on, I'm moving you guys there. <laughs> no one died, no harm, no foul. So she comes back to the church looking beat to hell. What happened with you? <laughs> All right. In the morning. Uh, wait, where's Thorn? she is Gideon you're in my bed oh this isn't my bed okay go, go to your beds <sighs> all right as you awaken in the morning you awaken and you see that Ivy is being tempted to uh, by your ghoul go ahead what in the Ivy? What in the Masseria is going on here? There's so much blood. Uh, I'll grab I don't know. Go the medical the kit. Or... I've done what I could. Heal their wounds. Make sure she stayed alive. Where did you find her? You guys remember you go... the last merchant? Yeah. What? Yes. Where I found her. You go. Why? Why is Ivy? I don't know. Wait, why are we all at the you blast merchant? Her. I, I was. I to go. Then I was following the blast, the brass baron cart. I left her brass, alone. Brass baron cart. You were just supposed to investigate the noble. Why yeah, are you following then the brass, brass baron? baron came in. What? The brass baron came in? No, no, just the captain. Uh huh. Here, allow me to help. I wanted to stay, but she told me to go, so I went. There. Uh, yes. I should get you jumped. settled. She was jumped by Gideon, the glass can you magic. get her some breakfast? I don't know. I found her in the glass merchant tent. Sure. Okay. Thank you. With that, Ivy. Ivy will awaken. Oh, mercy. Jump over and face the pillow. Seems you're alive. Give yeah, her some sure, space. I've not claimed you just yet. Well, I'll get some shut eye. I feel pretty tired. That's why you should. Your journey is not your journey. Is... Mm. Matheria still has use for you. Ivy? Mm hmm. You're. Do not be a child. Tell us what happened. No. Come on. Not we've now. All be, we've all been injured. Tell us what yeah. happened. Please, we are Michael, concerned. Michael. To breakfast with Please you. Go. See how oh Gideon's God. doing with her food. Uh, she's being a child. <laughs> We're just gonna pat the back. Hmm. Mm hmm. Sitting I bed. wouldn't touch her too much. We don't know the full extent of the patching or injury. They're healed six, seven plus five total. Twelve oh, total. No, oh, that's mm -hmm. more than my entire HP. Then you should be more than adequate to enjoy some breakfast. Gideon should mm. be bringing that back shortly. I don't wanna. You'll have the food here. Take some time and rest. She's gonna kick off the blankets. Ivy? I've been going about things all wrong. Definitely need more. Hmm. Ivy, what's... what happened? Okay? Well, I tried to do the noble thing and bring someone in alive, but, you know, maybe it's best to just start killing people. Okay, that is that yes. to say. So what happened last? Nothing happened. Uh, 
We got information about the Brass Baron's involvement with the Noble Holden, and he's definitely getting some stuff. The Brass Baron's captain stopped at the Glass Merchant and got a very particular item that was very apparently valuable to them. We don't know what. And I stopped to interrogate while you go went to go follow the cart before we lost sight of it. He picked up another small bag under um, the pole. A pole. Even, near you guys aren't even here. <laughs> well, no, Yugul is there. Oh, Yugul is there when we used to. You picked up another small bag. Seems similar. Okay, so the brass. Let's have you record the statement while you eat. You don't need to deal with our questions now. Okay? Just fill out our report. Uh, wake me when you guys are done with eating. Yeah, of course. I'll give you some space. I just need to get better spells, is all. You have a team. Hmm? You have a team to. You're cutting out. You have a team to utilize. And? We're not. Hmm. You don't have to do this. I will do what I must. I appreciate the sentiment. Thorn is just concerned. Uh, I'll take that, please. Gideon. Yeah. If she doesn't want the breakfast, I'll leave it for you, cool. Okay. Here, here you go. Thank you. Set it here at his bedside for him to enjoy when he wakes up. Gideon, what do you think happened? See, uh, he said something about the glass merchant. Off of that, do you think she just got stabbed by some merchant? I, it's entirely possible. There, like, he could have had somebody else in. Like, there could have been another person in in the stall with him. I, I don't know. It would be really unfortunate if she just got shanked like that. But wait to what she has to say. But it. Unfortunate, it's just she just got stabbed multiple times by some random man. But uh, we will find out what happened. But you know, and he smack, uh, he moves closer and smacks his armor. That wouldn't have happened to us. We are the sword. We are stronger. She is a mage caster. But hey, you know, not everybody can be as strong as us. True. <laughs> Pretty upset, isn't she? Yeah. I'm really worried she's not even talking to me. And he was in really good shape. Yes. The important thing is, is that she's patched. Mm. Although I must confess her tenacity to want to go to lethal bounds is understandable. Mm -hmm. I... I'll work. I'll work. You're breaking up horribly. I'll, I'll work with her. I'm sorry, Captain. You're fine. Go get some breakfast. I'll see what I can do to try to wrangle her over. I'll be gentle. Please. I'll be gentle. Good morning. I trust you had quite the night. I'm just working on potions, not even going to say anything. Would you like me to bring over something for you to eat while you work? I'm quite busy and I'm not hungry. Very good then. What has prompted you to start 
making these potions? What specifically are you working on? Making something that can kill. Hmm. It is usually not recommended to dabble too lethally. After all, it's hard to get information from the dead. Well, he got away. So what good did that do? Killing him would have been better off anyways. Perhaps. But... A lead is still a lead. No, it's worse. It's a loose end. Who knows who he's going to go talk to? That is true. I can understand your anger. Should you actually be feeling it, your actions lead me to think you are. Am I correct? You can believe whatever you want. See, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking for you to actually tell me how you're feeling. I'm fine. The individual I know would be better at making plans, not trying to fabricate weapons. Well, in the absence of plans, weapons are even better. Mm. I will trust in your wit that you will not do anything too foolish. And that you will try to be kind to yourself and afford the sign that you need. But do come for a meal or two. Doesn't bode well to devote oneself and forget everything else. When you are ready for debrief, I will be here to listen. All right? Just kind of waves you off. Very well. Ariel will peep in to see if your ghoul is still sleeping before joining the others for breakfast. Alrighty, and as everyone collects for breakfast and your ghoul is checked on, unfortunately that is where I'll have to call it, because we are at time. Understood. Understood. Man, what a fucking crazy session that was. Oh, oh my God. dude, best session. Dude, that was Helping wild. <laughs> my heart actually racing with the commoner battle. Dude, that oh. was crazy, dude. Jesus. That's so good. I ain't going back to prison. I ain't going uh, back to prison. I, I ain't going back. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Give me just a second. We can do some fan art. Oh, my God. Oh, Priceless. And, um... <laughs> oh, God. and, of course, I look at fan art and I just see some shit, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> this is such a crazy dichotomy. I see some... I don't even know if I'd call that wholesome. Some shit like that. And then, egg, that's too violent. I don't think I could put that on the streams. <laughs> Just stop. God damn it, dude. That's way too much. <laughs> that is definitely too much. Yeah, that's too much. In fact, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shoot that. I'm just gonna shoot that, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that, buddy. Sorry, egg. Too that's much, too much, bro. bro. Okay. Let me pull this up. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. Basic. Uh... Okay, okay. All so right. Okay. <laughs> I will read the caption. <laughs> Thorn, Captain, I got to flirt with Mika Mikael, and he's so fun. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Captain, That's I think great. I made some headway. Praise me. What? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jesus. The stranger. 
<laughs> I don't think stream is seeing your uh, fan art. That is. Yeah. yeah. That is. Okay, it's, it's, it's delayed. Yeah. Horribly. I'm slow. <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, I love this one. It's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really good. Oh, um, that one's great. Non-lethal. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, my non-lethal gun. <laughs> you gotta do like that, bro! <laughs> she didn't die! She'll be oh fine! God. She, she didn't die! She didn't die, it doesn't count! Okay. She's gonna get vengeance, she's gonna kill that man next to <laughs> fucking... Yes. Uh, Mikael is down for that, man. Just, uh, just come to Mikael, he will Recurring kill him with you. Villain. Crazy. I don't Bruh. think that counts as a meme, Sonny. Alrighty, let's see. Any subs to thank? Uh, what is, like we we get taken down by a red blanket and a glass. Crazy. Storm Edge, thanks uh. for the 19 months and stiff body. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thanks, bud. All right. You're welcome, man. As a quick aside, tomorrow is um, we will be having Bound and Broken, Forgotten City. But not Sins of the Father, because Vux has to be somewhere. So we're going to have to skip that mm -hmm. session. Um, Such. And then on Monday, Damn. Monday is my birthday. And we will be Yay. having a, a super cool big subathon, yeah. like, all day. I'll probably start at noon, and I'll go until okay. uh, I'll go until D, D starts that day, Court of Curses, and then I'll finish them off, and then I'll probably go to... I'll probably stop after that, but... I'm trying to plan like a big subathon thing, so I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there with new goals, new things like that. that Good stuff, awesome. everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.